welcome to a realm where the pulse of sports thrills and the spark of technology sizzles. Join Ronald Unk Bolware and your charismatic host, Jay, a aka Jonathan Anderson. Together, they unpack the latest in sports and technology. This is Noonish Sports and Tech. Oh yeah, y'all know what it is. You know what time it is and you know what's going on. Boy, am I excited for this show. I got a whole lot to talk about today. My gosh, you know, contracts and, and losses and underwhelming performances and just a, a plethora of things to get into today. But uh, if you don't know, you're about to find out. I'm your host, J.A., a.k.a. Jonathan Anderson, here with my awesome co-host, my uncle in real life, IRL. You know who it is. It's Uncle Ron, Ronald Bowler, what's going down, huh? Oh, not much, man. Just ready to, uh, you know, get into these topics. But first things first. Uh, and when you say first things first, you're talking about the first lady. Hey, we talking about the first lady. We're going to get it jumped off quickly today. Let's go ahead and jump over there and get the first lady in the building. What's up, first lady? How you doing? Hi, boys. How are we feeling? Can we hear me okay today? Are we clear? Are we loud and clear? Oh, yeah, we live and clear. We hear you. We hear you well. Can you hear us? I can. You guys are crisp. It's like you're right in my ears. I love oh, it. Man, you know, we we try to be. We try to we try to do things right and be crisp and all that good stuff. <laughs> you know, I know we got some uh, awesome awesome races happening this weekend. You know, you know, we do. Uh, we do. At, at Azerbaijan. Did I say it right? Ooh, ooh. At, You've been pr you've been practicing. Well, we had we had a whole we had a whole week to practice, right? I was talking about, like the race was coming up right away, but we had a little bit of a, a little bit of a break. So it's actually this weekend we'll be in Azerbaijan, the Baku Street Circuit. It's gonna be a fun one. I think I made some predictions, but let me tell you guys, there has been some breaking news in just the last couple of days. I know there's been a lot of NFL news lately, but let's talk about some F1 news, shall we? Yes. About a month ago, we teased that. Lance Stroll's dad, who owns the Aston Martin team, that he would put up a pretty penny to get Adrian Newey, who is one of the most incredible and powerful and brilliant car designers of the generation. Let me give you some quick stats. You want some, you want some quick stats? Yes. Newey, my man Newey. Of all of the cars that have won races in Formula One, Adrian Newey has designed almost 20% of those cars. Now, there's a lot of cars. F1's been around for a while. So he's got 12 constructor championships, meaning the car that he designed was the one that would bring the constructor championship home, 13 driver championships, and 220 F1 wins with his car. So this is a huge, huge move for Aston Martin. The addition of Adrian Newey is a complicated one and an expensive one. He's been with a lot of different teams over the years, but um, he has had a dream. Adrian Newey even said he really wished he could work with Lewis Hamilton and Fernando Alonso, who was on the Aston Martin team. So hey, this what a way to make up time lost, too, you know, that, uh, that you didn't get to spell what you're selling, you know, just <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You just you just speed things up. Stroll knew what he was doing, but uh, give and take when you uh, when you got a, when you got billions coming in, you know. You know, I wish I could relate to it, but I can't. Um, so I love I love watching it. I was trying to think of like a good comparison. Do you guys remember the feeling of when Tom Brady made the switch over to Tampa Bay? You're like, okay, new energy, an incredible talent. What's he going to bring? It's not just like the sheer power of the player themselves and the dynamic you know, capabilities they bring to the field or the track in this case, but it's the culture too. And I think Nui has a winning mindset. I think he's going to bring a fresh culture to Aston Martin. We're probably not going to see the results of that until 2026. Like he doesn't really start till 2025. And you guys know how it is. Like it's going to take some time for them to get up and running. The teams to really put some time into uh, taking these designs and bringing them to life. So I think 2025 is going to be this transitional period. It'll be Lewis's first race and uh, year over at Ferrari. Newey will be getting started at Aston Martin. There's a lot of changes happening on the on the track. So I am excited to see what happens. And for 40 mil a year, my dude better show. A year. Uh, my boy making quarterback money. That's what I said. Straight up. Oh, hey, that's, bottom, that's bottom of the totem pole quarterback money now. 
Man, that guy, it's making him one of the most valuable and highest paid people literally in the paddock. And as it should, I mean, Lauren Stroll, I, when I first read this, I was like, what? I'd be offended. But then I really thought it was like, damn, he's really flexing on us. He said he got Nui for a bargain, like 40 million a year for what he brings to the table. He's saying he's worth more than that. But we're so grateful that we got him for 40 mil because, hey. I'm looking for a championship win in 2026 from these guys. Hey, I mean, we're looking at the guy has 12 championships under his belt and got 40 million a year. We got a quarterback with no championships that got 60. Yeah, he's well. <laughs> that, that's absolutely a bargain, but I, I, I'm sorry. No, no shots taken. No, please. I mean, it's, uh, it's worth talking about. You know, money in sports is one of those. Like, I, no matter where you work in sports, whether you're on the tech side or the media side or player yourself, like the money that flows through sports is incredible and wild how they can't pay some players $3 and others are getting major, major contracts uh, and not really expected to perform at the highest level. You know, and when, when you got a receiver that's the best in the league and he just wants two more million to be the top paid, a million and one dollar to be the top paid guy in the league and you, you, you tell him you don't have it and then you give out 60? Yeah, that's weird. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right along those lines of what you're saying right now. Weird energy all around. But no, this uh, this was, this is good, exciting news for F1. Um, I think it's massive news, obviously, for Aston Martin. It brings a lot of value to, to that company. I mean, Lauren Stroll owns Aston Martin, so he knows what he's doing. Not only is he owning this team, but he owns that brand. So I think the Adrian Dewey connection is going to... I know, where's Rick Ross when you need him, you know? Um, he should be a part of it. Um, yeah, I did you know that he's involved in he's a vegan music conference or it's like it's like a vegan food festival. But I'm like, doesn't nothing. he own part of doesn't he own part of Wingstop? <laughs> nothing about Rick Ross says vegan. My boy gotta be shoving veggies in his face all day. Oh, that's it's a lot of why I used to play the vegetable when they chop the veggies. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that's Rick Ross. <laughs> no, uh, he's vegan. And I'll, I'll train you here. Chips. Uh, I need some. I need some proof. Yeah. Right. <laughs> hey, he didn't lose a lot of weight though. I will give him credit for that for sure. Hey, we love you, Rick Ross. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, we love you, Rick Ross. You know, I ain't got nothing for you, man. Uh, <laughs> Rick Ross, if you're listening, Rick Ross, if you're listening to the hey, Danish hey, podcast, hey, we love you. Drop off some wings later. So we've got a pretty big race coming up, right? That Azerbaijan, right? And we we, we kind of mentioned it shortly, but we we do. It's a uh, a really fun track. I think I mentioned last week it was the first time uh, or the first uh, track where they did the sprint race, which is the sprint shootout. Um, I don't think it's a sprint this week. I can't remember actually. No, I don't think it's a sprint race this weekend. But um, they demoed it here uh, several years ago um, to show the new format. Um, I'm excited. I think there's some interesting dynamics coming into play. We talked about Antonelli jumping in um, to to drive in 2025. But what's interesting is Haas has a driver, Kevin Magnuson, who has gotten into a predicament. He has surpassed the amount of penalty points you're allowed in a single season. So, and he's he's a rowdy boy. All right, he. Yeah, we just passed the halfway mark, people. Right. My mom was. My guy racked up some points. I mean, literally, like, in two races, he was doing all kinds of things. He made some unsafe moves. He got penalized. They, you know, will he, he will end up at the back of a grid. He'll take grid penalty or place penalties um, or time penalties. But he's hit this mark where they said, hey, you're not allowed to uh, to race in the next race. So he's banned from this next race. So they've got this little young puppy, young puppy, Ollie Bierman, has to come in and, and step in for, for Kevin because he's on he's on the bad behavior list. And, and I think that's going to be interesting. Haas can only go up. So what if this young buck comes in and performs well? Right? Hey, okay, so got my back. Seat. Exactly. But, well, Ollie's already signed for next year, so he's already got a seat. So he's really going to flex. It's going to be a really cool time for him. But this isn't his first F1 appearance. Back yeah. when Carlos Sainz lost his appendix, he needed to have his appendix removed. Ollie jumped and actually scored points at his very first F1 nice. race. Um, so he was in a Ferrari then, uh, obviously a very competitive car. So we'll see how uh, how he does in the Haas. Definitely not as powerful as the Ferrari, but hey, I think it's a good test and teaser into uh, to next season. So I'm interested to see how that mixes things up for this particular race. You know, I've been thinking a lot. I think last week I was really thinking that I would see Max back up on this podium because he's been missing. He's been MIA. Both him and Checo have been MIA from the podium. Max, I ain't seen him. 
I didn't see. Oh, 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 put your glasses. Take your glasses off. Can you see Max? Because I can't. It's been uh, six. I can't see Max. Hey, hey, if I can't see him with my glasses on, I still can't see him with him. So I'll just read a couple comments over there. Hey, what up, Drew Young? Hey, Drew Drew Young says, ma'am, you look gassy. Oh. You can't do it. I don't, I, I guess that means hot. <laughs> or not. I don't know. Respectfully, though, is what he said. Respectfully, though. <laughs> appreciate that, Drew Young. Oh, yeah. Do we appreciate that? I don't know. Hey, we, what does that mean? We do. Hope you don't mean bro. Oh, that's very good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. God. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> we we, we can say Drew Young. <laughs> He know a beautiful young lady when he see one. Absolutely. I mean, he may not, he may not express it in the way that uh, you. Uh, that's more pleasurable to you, but uh, yes, <laughs> at least he got that much sense. Yeah, that's that's, that's tick. That's like, oh, like, away, uh, away with words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody oh. got away with get away with their own words. Yeah, you run that one, run that one through uh, ChatGPT and then come back to us. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now that's that's pretty wild, but um. Yeah, uh, and, and then we also have some things going on with Kyle Larson going to the indie circuit. Like, what guys, that guys, trivia time. Tell me the other two athletes who have played in two professional sports in a single day. You guys have to name one each. Go ahead. Deion Sanders. Uh-huh. I have no idea. The other? You do. You sports? do know. You do Luke know. Jackson? That's the one. Hey, who got it? I don't know if- I know they play. I know they did the same day. You know that's who everybody compared me to coming up. No. Anyways, that's what they compare. Yeah, same. They also compared me to. Him. I can't believe it. Shoot, you need to shoot money out of Unk's head like you did for me the other day. Hey, I got you. Uh, here, shoot it out. Shoot it out. Hey, and from uh, now on, we're referring to money is that deck. <laughs> this one's not up. <laughs> hey. No. Well, this is um, another interesting. Opportunity for sports. Now, it, there was an attempt on this last this last season uh, or uh, this season. But Larson is a NASCAR driver, a well-known NASCAR driver. He is going to make a second attempt to drive both an Indy car and a NASCAR race in the same day. So the Indy 500 and the Coca-Cola, I think it's the 600, happens on the same day. One starts a little bit earlier than the other. Now, last or this last attempt this season, both had rain delays and some issues. So he raced in Indy. He started off in fifth. He finished 18th, but storms kind of delayed him getting to the next race. And then the next race was delayed for rain. So he didn't. He tried it. He could have done it if rain hadn't played a factor. So they just announced that in 2025, he's going to make an attempt to do the same thing. I think it's batshit crazy. I think that the amount of G's and the force that they take in these cars is insane to do so many laps. I think it's 1,100 miles in a car with both the laps. That's like I'm driving from here to like Missouri, like just getting into Missouri. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be no, me. Missouri. Well, now eleven hundred miles. We're talking. How many hours is that? Hundred miles an hour. That's eleven hours. I well, did uh, San Diego. So we're talking like Tucson, like Tucson, Arizona. <laughs> My hometown. How did you know? Um, yeah, isn't that insane? So he'll fly from one state to another. And he'll complete, hopefully, both races. So I think this is really cool for racing. Now, people will say, oh, this is a different sport. But there's two totally different cars. In fact, Larson actually made a uh, a pretty interesting quote not too long ago and said that he thinks he's the best driver and then he could beat Max Verstappen in, in, in a race. Wow. And I would pay a lot of money to see Max Verstappen and Kyle Larson race in any type of vehicle, an F1 car, an Indy, or NASCAR. I would, I would pay to see it. So yeah, that'd be dope. That'd be dope, man. That's uh, you know, get like a little heads up action going on. You know, just get like the best races out of Indy, NASCAR, F1, top three in each sport. Put them on a track and see how it works out. You know. I'd love to see it. I think it's a good crossover episode to see your, you know, favorite athletes drive together in different cars. Like, I think it'd be cool to see Larson in an F1 car. We obviously know he can drive an Indy car, but F1's just next level. So NASCAR is a whole other beast. So I think it'd be really, really, uh, it'd be, you know what, if I may say so myself, um, please don't ask me for royalties, but I think that's going to be must-see TV. You know what I mean? Must-see TV. Uh, Uncle, what size shirt are you? I think I'm gonna have to make you a shirt for Must See TV. What size shirt are you over there? It's real. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah, so what up, Goo Punch? By the way, man, Goo Punch in the building, man. That's one of my fantasy football uh, contestants right now. You know, I think you might have played Goo Punch this week. Oh my Who's god! Did I? Football. Oh my I god! Play trip. 
I think I paid trip, but let me see. Let me see. I can't okay. remember. Um, but yeah, no, that was wow. What an experience it is the, with you guys in this fantasy group. You guys are very quiet. You guys are very quiet. It's very calm. Yeah, it's real calm right now. You know, uh, but you know, come game after I get my first win, that's when I'm gonna start talking. You know, I can't really talk until <laughs> then. You know, I I, I, I I said a few things early on in the season, but uh, I gotta be quiet right now. I took an L and I had the lowest score of the week. I'm at the I'm in the pits right now. Oh, well, everybody should talk about from the bottom. And, and Jonas is at the top, so everything is like okay. okay flip from last year. Okay, we're living in an alternate universe. As Jonas is at the top. <laughs> Jonas and his auto drafted team. Damn. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. No, it's it's been great. But no, man. You know, first lady, I know you don't have much time today. You know, and I, I definitely appreciate you taking the time to come and join us and giving us this amazing F one slash indie report, man. A lot of cool things going on. Make make sure y'all tune into the. Uh, Azerbaijan this weekend, you know, wake up Sunday morning and, and get your F1 on, man. He won't be mad. It's pretty exciting, man. I actually want to go to some of these events here in the near future. So, uh, but yeah, no, Christiana, hey, do what it do, girl. You go so hard. Thanks, boys. I'll see you next week. <laughs> Have a good one. Shipping ghosts in the building. We got goofy bunch on the building there. Y'all know what's going down, man. Yeah, yeah he said she looked AI. She's not AI. Oh, she took an L. Yeah, she did take an L this week. But that is our champion, you know, so. Oh, my God. Hey, she does specialize in the analytics space. So you better believe she's coming with it for the next rest of the season. I took an L this week, too, man, unfortunately. You know, I'm just trying to give y'all a head start, a handicap if you must. But hey, my team come. Hey, but to re- what 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 Dion say last year? Yeah. Coming. Hey, but this the whole thing. That's just excuse cause he lost. Hey, whatever you want to call it, whatever hey, you want to call. Because uh, the people that win, they don't they don't say all that. They just take the W. They, don't, they just win and go on and start the whole team next mm-hmm. one. You right. That's why I wasn't saying much. That's why I wasn't saying much. But anyways, let's get to the business, man. Opening up. You know what's up, man. Dak Prescott, two hundred and forty million. Go, Dak, go. Two hundred and thirty-one guarantee. Go, Dak, go. Oh no! It is seemingly the Cowboys don't plan on winning the Super Bowl for the next four years. So I have devoted myself to become a Kansas City Chiefs, aka Dallas Texans fan, for the next four years uh, until the Cowboys get serious about winning the Super Bowl. But uh, anyway, let's break down this contract, man. What you, first of all, two hundred and forty million, man. Oh, the, oh, we gonna hey trip. We gonna get to the fantasy football league in about six, seven topics. We on the way, bro. It's a lot to talk about, though. You know, and I, so I wake up. First of all, this was just a horrible weekend for me in sports. All right, my son took an L Friday night. You know, Saturday, horrible day. Both all the teams I'm rooting for: Notre Dame, CU, lackluster. Oh, uh, horrible. Wake up, I go to sleep like, ah, oh, at least we got the Cowboys in the morning. We have a sign that everything looks like it's going on, going to be on the up and up. I wake up to a message stating that the Cowboys have come to an agreement. With Dak Prescott. With Dak Prescott. Four years, 240 million, 60 million a year. Like, what? Bro, like, I thought we were supposed to earn these dollars, dog. Do, do we not just remember this last playoff performance? Do we not remember the last time we played San Francisco? What the hell are we doing, man? <laughs> Jerry, dog. I thought we was, I thought Jerry would have had you, you know, tell me. Bro, like, that, this is no slight to you. I'm glad you got your money, bro. If they would have offered it to me, they may as well have. Cause hey, you gonna get the same results as I do. But, but uh, you get thirteen. You gonna get twelve wins. I would. Nah, nah. You you lose it. You ain't make it out. Yeah, I would. Be I would bet. Not bet with you. Bet. Not with you. Put, Put some money on it. Huh? Put some. I don't care if I am forty one. No, no, no. I'm not worried to tell you. Cause you know what? That ain't doing too much. I can throw five yard rides too, dog. Okay. I can let my defense and my special teams stand me too. Okay. You know. Okay. Like, seriously, okay. we saw much of what we saw last year in Sunday's game, but let's talk about this contract yeah. first. Let's break it down. You can break it down all you want to. He already got it. Oh, he got it. I done did it. <laughs> Boy, but I just want to let y'all know what's going on, the parameters, man. 
Got a little echo on the audio. Uh, let me let me get that. 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 Let me more good points or something good stuff. Yeah, man. So hey, so check it, bro. Two hundred and forty million, sixty million annual average, right? That's that's what it comes down to over over four years. Eighty million dollars at the signing bonus, a hundred and twenty nine million fully guaranteed at sign it. So that includes a one point two five million dollar salary for twenty twenty four, forty seven point seven five million dollar salary in twenty twenty five season. All right. We have forty million dollar salary for twenty twenty six injury guaranteed, fully guaranteed in March twenty twenty five for that season. Forty five million uh, for twenty twenty seven injury guaranteed, fully guaranteed by March twenty twenty six. Seventeen million of his fifty five million dollar salary for twenty twenty seven is injury guaranteed, fully guaranteed by March of twenty twenty seven. This is the part that chaps my ass no trade clause no franchise transition tag clause four void years from 29 to 2030 uh, 2032 however the cowboys do have the right to restructure and add more void years as often as they want bruh like did we not understand that no trade clause handcuffed us last time and got us in this predicament again. Whoever Dax, who was Dax uh, an agent? I have no idea. He got God representing him to where Jerry can't say no. It's like either you say yes or you're going to hell, Jerry. That's what it seems like, bro. It feels like he just lost a divorce case and getting all, everything. Oh, he wants Jerry lost a divorce case, and Dak won a divorce case, and he's getting everything. Like this don't make sense, bro. I'm sorry. What what have we done? What has he done to 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 get? The, and I understand it's a business, and I know Jerry Jones. You know, first of all, when I saw the 231 million dollars guaranteed, I was like, oh, Jerry ego tripping. Why? Because they played the Cleveland Browns that day, and Deshaun Watson. Has a two hundred and thirty million dollar guaranteed contract. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Gave him one million more. He did to Dak what I thought he would do to CD and give CD one more million than um, uh, Jefferson. That didn't happen, Bruh, it it was was I'm right. like, dog. I just needed, bro. I just needed uh, two more million to be the highest paid receiver in the land, bro. Two million, dog. And y'all drug me all the way through draining camp. And you told me you didn't have it, dog. And maybe the second, that's what you think of me? Even though my production is off the charts. Like, I'm the one that's actually making Dak look good, bro. You know, they said after Dak got this contract, everybody in the locker room gave him their wristwatch size. And I would have too. Because he's getting that contract because of everybody else in their locker room. Nothing like Baker Mayfield, for instance. My boy took the Cleveland Browns. And a um, uh, no one cared about Tampa Bay Buccaneers last year, you know. Tampa Bay just signed Baker because he was out there. They didn't have another quarterback. Brady wasn't coming back. And said, "Yo, Baker, can you come? You know, you you want to come play QB for us?" He's like the last pick of the you know when you when you hit the lot and you got you know eighteen people out there and you know two captains. Baker was like the last dude that got chosen. He only got three years and a hundred million after taking the Cleveland Browns and compet like I don't know if y'all remember that game, but he barely lost to Pat Mahomes before they went and brought Deshaun Watson on. Baker Mayfield has earned all of his three years, one hundred million dollar contract that he got from Tampa Bay. He has had to earn it. Had to be a journeyman, had to get released, go to LA. Like, what what am I missing here? Where are you? <laughs> That uh, sports has changed so much. It's just about. Uh, it ain't even if you win it. If you just get me close or get me down, it's. I mean, I don't know. Because I wouldn't. 
First off, I wouldn't have gave Dak the first contract. I wouldn't have gave Dak this contract. Yeah. And uh Paul is Dak. Uh, I ain't mad at Dak. I just signed it. I'm time. not either. And I'm yeah. going to say this. That's too like going out of the bag of money on the ground. Too many. Uh, Dak didn't really get it off the other guy because they haven't done squat either. But I'm saying the games they have won, the defense and the special teams have carried him for the most part. Besides when he's bullying team. Look at the game Sunday. All right, let's go. Let's go on and move to the next topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that's let's go on and move to the next topic. What has that. to do with that? Oh, that's Cristiano said that. Oh yeah, see why? Said, "Up, oh, you were right. Both them playing two sports in the same day, but I think the same year. Love y'all, bye." Love yeah, you too, girl. Also, gassy. Can someone confirm that it's a good thing? I'm old. Hey, we old too. Hey, hey, I'm older than that. Hey, <laughs> hey, I will tell you like this. See why I'm gonna flip it to a good thing. Yeah. Because we talking about you, it better be good. You know? Because it gotta be younger have to take it off. Alright, so let, let's talk let's talk yeah. about this cowboy game, right? You know, so Cowboys went out, put on a, a solid performance in the opening day. Yeah, uh and first of all, uh man, like people, y'all please get off the show Watson. The man's father passed away on Friday and he played on Sunday. Like typically when you hear of a quarterback's father passing away, that's like a major story. If the quarterback is still playing, oh, Brent Favre is a hero. This is this is my first time here. I didn't yeah. even know that. Yeah, the young man's father passed away Friday. Yeah, and he played on Sunday. Yeah, and now he's dealing with this other case that's coming out of nowhere four years later. Like, no comment on that. Yeah, no comment on. I'll, no I'll no man, that's no way. Because I always think that the NFL's behind a lot of that stuff. You know, just trying to save dollars if they can. Right, and now that uh, he went out and had a bad performance, this story comes out after the game, like, just fishy, bro. Yeah. It's like when he said, I don't want to come back to Houston. Oh, these stories leak, right? Even though y'all gave him permission slips and made sure that all these women signed these documents before he went and got these massages, the Texans set the situation up. But now Deshaun's the one taking the fall. But I ain't going to say nothing else about that. But the young man's father passed away. Deshaun Watson, my heart goes out to you, bro. Oh, yeah. Been through that, know what that feels like, bro. And the courage that it took to go out there and play a game on Sunday, knowing your head ain't right, bro. Shout out to you, bro. We, we got, got you back over here when the rest of the media wants to die. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I, I did. Oh, no, I can say, real this is my first time ever even hearing that. And that's what I'm saying. We watched the whole game Sunday. Nobody mentioned it. Nobody mentioned it. They just talking about how poorly he played today. Da, da, da. Bro, like, why? Why? How, how about it, like, bro? But that just goes to show things that, that, how, that affect them on the field. Yeah, that's how people are. Man. Absolutely. That's why you can't let what people say and do affect you personally. You got to keep it moving on your own accord. Absolutely. Yeah. But other quarterback, let's get back to him. So the Cowboys went out, put on a beautiful performance, right? Yeah. Defensively, special teams scored. Uh, defense did their thing uh, like we hoped and thought they would, right, based off preseason and that switch with uh, our new – uh, Mike Zimmer at, at, at the physical coordinator, bro. It's so, oh my gosh, got guys flying around, overshown. He, oh, not a guy from uh, number fifty from uh, South uh, yeah, Carolina. Edwards, Chargers. Edwards, Edwards. Yeah. from the Chargers. The, my, yeah, say man, that dude balled out. Oh, he is a baller. That's why he's here. Yeah, because he can run that defense like Peyton Man in the defense. He's like our Ray Lewis right here. Oh yeah, you know our, our, our D line. Hey, what you got to say about D Law? There's one game, he played one of them. Hey, hey, hey. He showed up. Hey, I, th I thought about that. I was like, D-Law, maybe he should have been the 4 3 the whole time. Maybe, maybe that's what he came. That's what he came in your ass. And, oh, and, and, and I'm hoping that that's what the case is because I need D-Law to get some sacks in December and January. Yes, sir. And, you know, that, that's, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, now, I, I need him and Michael Paul to get some sacks in December and January. Absolutely. You know, and I need Dak not throw no interceptions in no December and January. I don't know. I mean, and, and, and until I see all this happen, Unc is like this. Unc like the police. He don't want your M.O., what yep. you already have done. I'm, I'm, I'm still skeptical, but, but this is my true belief that the Dallas Cowboys in regular season yep. will win 11 games on the low end, yep. 13 on the high end. Oh, after, I believe that. After seeing our defense plus Turpin, we know what Turpin is and the new, the new uh, kickoff rules and all that stuff. Way heavily in Turpin's favor. Let's just be honest about that situation. If the guy finds a crease, he's gone. He got he ran a punt back because he's going to have more opportunities. Absolutely. Because you could just kick it out the end zone and it's done. Bring it up here. Yeah, but let's talk about a quarterback's performance, okay? My boy had one passing touchdown in the game, okay? Yeah, right. Cool. QBR 
Eight, After four, week four, one. 85. Ranked 24th in the league. Yeah. Threw for 179 yards in the game. Completion percentage, 59.4. I think, I think Justin, Justin Fields was somewhere around that last year, wasn't he? Yeah. Okay. Uh, average yards per completion, 5.6, 23rd in the league. Okay. Got sacked three times, seventh most in the league. Okay. And that's our O-line balled out. The young bucks balled out, and we're going to get to that here in a second. Well, some young bucks, they balled they out. They balled out. Okay. Uh, third down, my ball was 4 for 14. This is what we see and have seen for seven years now? No, 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 no. No, because. What you mean, no? No, 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 because this right here. What you mean, no? No, no. Because, like you said now, uh, I'm just going to tell you. I've you, seen that for, for seven you said, years now. You said that his numbers don't mean nothing, but they mean something now. For the last five years, Dak Prescott, and that girl wrote you the numbers. The numbers that everybody illustrates, yeah. the yards, the yeah. touchdowns, all that, that means nothing because it's against bogus teams. But against a good defense like when he played this Sunday, we saw he was who we thought we, he was. Okay. Okay. That uh, ugly head ready to sell again. But then this is the whole thing. A whole lot of times you don't have to do much when your team playing like that. Of course. Uh, I'm but, like, but, but, but now you say the test you said you last year. Now you said all these things. Now some of these things he led the league in for a whole year last year. Uh, those, those are the stats that don't matter. Yeah, they were done these, those, these, don't, these don't matter either because you won. It that does matter. matter. Because you won as a team, you lose as a team. People give it with one word. Yeah. It gave us a peak. Yeah. Into the season when he plays against other good competition, yeah. and what what Dak looks like truly yeah. against a good defense. But, but 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 this is the thing: our defense ain't never played like this against a good team. I did. I, I was I, false. Uh, false. Uh, false again. Okay. We lost nineteen to twelve and gave up forty five yards rushing to kid Christian McCaffrey and thirty five yards in receiving to Debo Samuel. And Dak lost to Jimmy G nineteen to twelve and twenty to seven in that game. Was that? You just said our defense has never done it, and I just told you what right, That was three years okay. ago. Okay, go. But go look at the, all, 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 the, all the rest of the stats. This is all I'm trying to say. Okay, you figure it out. Back ain't you, back it out. you figure it out one game, but I'm just saying that some of these same counts. Not one, no one game. Yeah. This, but this, this, is, same, this is who we have last, good defense. Last five years, like uh, completion percentage for yards, he's in the top three. Against, 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 against good defense. Last five years. Against good defense. defense. Over the teams he played. Against good defense. defense. Against, against, against your top over, over, over the teams no. he played over the last the five years. No. My average over here. The answer is no. This is one game. The answer is no. I'm not even picking out um, games, but I'm, I'm not playing that against good he led, he led the league in touchdown passes. He led the league in yardage. All of these, you said he's 24 fifth, but that's one game. But last year, he led the whole league. See, but this is what I'm saying. We can make numbers say what we want to when we pick them out. Absolutely. When we want to. And those are the when we, when we want to. That you so, see. so, so, the numbers you typically see. Hold on, let me say this. Hold on, let me say this. Let me say this. The Jeffrey's good numbers don't mean nothing. His bad numbers don't either. None of his numbers mean nothing. The only thing meaning the thing is the wins and losses. He doesn't have bad numbers against bad teams. He's got great numbers against bad teams. He's got bad numbers against good teams. Religiously. Consistently. Most quarterbacks got bad numbers against good teams. Lamar Jackson got bad numbers against good teams. But he got two MVPs. But, but, but we ain't talking about Lamar right now. We talking about that. Most quarterbacks got bad numbers against good teams. Lamar beat Kansas City last year. In the regular season. In the regular that was thirteen and four. In the regular season. Not against the Chiefs. Not against the It doesn't season. matter. It does, all all that matters is your wins and losses. Now you can you can't pick and choose. All that matters. Oh, absolutely I can. Because yeah, when, I, yeah, when you my can. losses when my losses come against last year we're talking. When my losses come against the forty ers the Dolphins, uh who else did we lose? The Arizona Cardinals, they weren't even a 500 team. I think they had three wins last year. But they won 13. I don't care when I'm beating a, 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 a kid with two broken legs up. I don't care if I'm beating the bottom of the barrel. So I so care about 13, what you do. So I'm going to come to this team with bottom of the barrel. So that means half of the league bottom of the barrel. Absolutely. The, 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 the wins they had last year. And you know what most good teams do? They beat up on the bad team and then they fight against each other. I most teams beat up on the bad team. I'll let you go look at the schedule. Yeah. And you'll see the only quality teams that Dak beat last year. Schedule. The only quality teams he beat last year, over 500, were the Seattle Seahawks, which barely won. 
and the Detroit Lions, which came against a very controversial call. Those were his only quality wins last year. So let's talk about facts. And all he get your good competition. You're in the NFL, and all your wins are quality. You can, you can, you can down play it. But, but, but because we don't below 500 teams is not down. That's why they're below 500 because Dallas beat them twice. Dallas beat them twice. They, Dallas helped them be up under 500. They wasn't up under 500. You're just talking 500. about the division. No. Talk, talk about outside the division. I'm talking about everybody. The talk about outside the division. The division. No. Talk, talk about outside the division. Talking about everybody. The talk about outside the division. The Cowboys and this is, a, this, is a, this is the thing. The Cowboys only got six division games. Two against it, but they won 13, so the other 17. Look at the schedule. Well. Tell me who they were against. It Last doesn't team, matter. The Jets. That's why they all in, in the, the NFL. NFL. They wasn't against college. They was against other NFL, NFL teams. teams. Still under 500 teams in the NFL. That's why they're under 500 because they keep losing two times to Dallas. So that's happening. The Jets didn't lose two times to Dallas. And, and the other, the Chargers. They won the 500. The Chargers they didn't. They won the 500. The Chargers didn't lose two times to Dallas. They didn't, didn't beat Dallas either. Neither one of them beat Dallas. I'm naming the teams that they Neither one of them beat Dallas. I'm naming the teams he beat. Cleveland won the under 500 last year. I'm naming the teams he beat last year. You can't, you can't keep mixing things up. No, no, you're not hearing what I'm because saying. Because I'm making complete because, sense right but, now. Because, but because, because this, is what, this is the whole thing. I'm making complete sense now, no, too. No, not. Yes, I am. No. Because you ain't, if, if I ain't making none, you ain't either. Because this is the thing. People try to downplay other players. Man, these guys good at the NFL. If you're under 500, you're not a good team. Because Dak, you keep losing twice to Dallas. Dak religiously beats teams that are under 500 and loses to teams okay. that are over 500. Religiously, you can't be thirteen and four. He beat a good defense this week. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. He scored one touchdown against a good defense no, this week. The Dallas, and Dallas, that was a twenty-four point quarterback in the league. The, the Dallas Cowboys played Cleveland. It wasn't Dak. Absolutely, Cowboys. but Dak was the twenty-fourth ranked quarterback in the league this year in that win. Fact. That one game. So, so we'll see at the end of the year. He's gonna be twenty-four. Let him play seventeen games. Let's rate him on the good teams that he plays. Let's, let's rate him on the NFL where he plays in. I'm not doing that. You can have a to do against a bully. Cool. He's a bully. So it doesn't matter. Dak long is a bad team beater. Dak is a bad team beater, and it stops at Dak. The, the Dallas Cowboys are bad team beaters because Dak ain't playing by himself. You can't win when you're giving up two interceptions and when your defense only gives up 19. and You, you, know, can't, you, you, you can't win when your defense – uh, Come on. Uh, 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 hold you to, to three and out, then get a penalty, and then stay on the field, and then give up a touchdown. On the, all that, all that goes into play. Oh, all that goes into play. Come, come back. Yeah. That was a pick six. And, 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 and all that, all that's included with yeah. the other stuff. But and, that ain't with him. And your dad knows that you can't. This is this is this is this is the whole thing. He didn't earn that money. Dak Prescott can't win or lose an NFL game by himself. Hey, he he's done. He he's gotten close several times. I think he lost that San Francisco game by himself. Okay, we'll say okay. And I keep going back to that game because that was a playoff game against Jimmy G. When we when our defense showed up, okay. so that can't be an excuse. Okay. 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 So I'm okay. Keep going back to that example. Okay. I'm gonna just keep yeah. happening. Yeah. So this, hey guys, let's just look at what he does. Let's, against just, the yeah. let's just let's just see what he do this year. Let's just go back and look what he did over the last five years. We can't go by one game. And what they won, they won. And that's the main thing that everybody go by you wins and losses. They don't go by. All I don't. That's what that's what the casual fan goes by. But somebody that knows the game, I'm looking to see if we got an opportunity to win a championship. And with him at quarterback, two or three, and that just matters today. When next year, all that won't matter at all. I'm man. not basing this off of one game. I'm basing this off of his career of failures against great competition. He has not gone out and won the big game. He's, well, he's not about, done it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm talking about, about Dak. That. I'm yeah, talking no, about, about, about Dak, Dak Prescott. Prescott. You're absolutely right. That's all yeah. I'm talking about. That's what right I said. Now. I ain't never said he won the big game. You keep bringing up other people and bringing them and, and trying to, oh, just because he did. That's like a kid saying, oh, because he jumped off the bridge, I can too. No. I'm, I'm talking about you. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about that. Like you. You. you ain't making sense right now. I'm making perfect sense. sense. To you. That's your opinion. But to you, that's what ain't nobody said it. Because I, 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 know, I can't nobody argue with nothing I'm saying right now because I'm talking straight facts. Dak don't play good against good competition. No, I don't know said, how. I never he said he did. So why you I never said he did. What's the, All argument? The, the argument is that you can't diminish New York and Washington and the teams that Dak beat. They are in the NFL. 
I can diminish New York when they sign Daniel Jones for $140 million and let go of Saquon Barkley. Absolutely, I can. But, okay. anyways, we'll go on to the rest of okay. the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> yeah, we so well. Yeah, man, so uh, our, our O-line, our D-line played good. This, and our O-line. Let's talk about these young bucks. How do you grade Tyler Goddard's performance against Miles Garrett? I give him a B plus. B plus? Yeah. Yeah, that's, hey, I give him. Just because it's Miles Garrett, I give him A, A minus. He gave up one sack in that game. Well, it doesn't matter. That's Miles Garrett, that guy. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, because that's what. the best end in the league. Yeah, but he don't get a sack on everybody. He didn't have 17 sacks. I don't know. How many sacks he had? Yeah, 13. He didn't have 17, yeah. Yeah, that was 17. Yeah. So he'll give no sack on everybody. So I'm going to give him a B plus. And it was early too. Yeah. game when he got that sack too, right? Yeah. First and fourth. First and fourth. Tyler Guy played a heck of a game. Yeah. A B plus? That's a little great. Yeah. And, 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 and Connor Beebe, well, not, not in my house, man. That's my new straight A's, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but Connor Beebe, right? So what you think about his performance? They, they say that, that that first second, going back and looking at the tape, it wasn't on – uh, it wasn't on Connor Beebe. That was actually on our all-world right guard. Yeah. So Connor, Connor Beebe had no pressures in what? In, in all the 60 snaps? Like, I all balled out. I think you just call him all-world right That's what they call him. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm calling him. Cause that's, he's been all-pro since he's been in the league, and everybody just makes a big – I don't even – what's his name? I can't – Zach Martin. Zach Martin. That's my guy. Notre Dame. How about yeah, Okay, yeah. You know? But, hey, he, he gave up a sack earlier in the game, and Dak got crushed on that one. I'm talking, like, he old boy hugged him like a, like a bear, like a bear hug. You know, he got good all 300 pounds, old buddy. Belly button slid all up his face mask. I'm like, God, dog, you can't get hit no more square than that, bro. You know? No, that's just, that's just that one. That's just that one. You know? Well, he got sacked three times. Yeah, he got sacked three times. I think one of them was on him. I think he held the ball. Oh, he always holds yeah. the ball too long. Okay. That's, a, that's a consistent issue with Dak. He's going to hold the ball too long. He's going to be inaccurate. You saw him get the TD later. He's going to win 13 games. That's a consistent like, accuracy with Dak, too. 12, 13 games. That consistent right there. We're going to see what he do against the Saints. Saints had a pretty good game this past weekend, but no, nah, man. So I felt the Young Bucks had a pretty good game. Yeah, yeah I have a pretty good game. And, and let's talk about the Young Bucks showing out on defense. Mr. Overshone. It's crazy how the linebacking core is a strength of ours now. That's been our weakest weakness since uh, Dan Quinn was in it. We ain't had linebackers since he was in it. Yeah, I think the, I think the Young Bucks over there at the right corner or, or where left on defense right on line. 21? Yeah, I think he balled out. Oh, he balled out too. And it was obvious that they were not throwing that deep. Oh, they were not throwing that deep. And they they did, he got a pick. And yeah, like, and then, yeah, but they were, it was obvious that they weren't throwing it. Yeah, it was like, what, 10 pat, like somewhere like 10 uh, attempts at digs on Diggs' side, maybe? He had two pass deflections and one interception. Yeah, Diggs is, oh, Diggs yeah. is doing what Diggs do. Oh, yeah. You know, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what this, this defense continues to, to do as the year progresses, as they continue to bond and build, man, like in jail. They look real. In that first game, and there we talking about the show. Yeah, I didn't, you know, where yeah, he got situation yeah. when his pops on Friday and just hasn't been who we thought he'd be since he left the Texans. And yeah, for the last two, three years, you know. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, so I mean, you know, the defense looked good, and you got to look at the situation. Yeah, they were playing against a self-poor offense. Absolutely. Yeah. So we got to see down the line how yeah. this how this thing progress. Some hey uh um New Orleans put up what like forty seven this past weekend against uh Carolina beat them like forty seven to ten. So oh, yeah yeah when you, I know it's Carolina. Yeah then Carolina had two three turnovers so Carolina gave him 20, 20 points. Right. My oh, boy yeah. had to a pick when he first played the game on his first pass of the game. <laughs> Bryce like I, I don't know how he's going I don't know if he's gonna be in the league very long because my boy's already a little he got his money. You know, he might be uh, XFL or <laughs> USFL MVP one day. Might go play some Canadian football or something. But Bryce Young, man, you you playing like D. Your boy DJ Ugly, boy. Real, real hot. Yeah, real out there right yeah, now, right yeah, man. Yeah, it's sick, really. You know, and, and everything, his, when you're not playing good, everything they said about you, all the negatives, they start to come back up. His size, can the guy see over the line, arm strength questions about his arm strength, like, it all comes back up, man. You know, all that stuff come up when you're losing, but when you're winning, you know, they uh they turn that arm strength into accuracy. Oh, he's there in accuracy. Oh, yeah, but he ain't told him seven million yards. Yeah, I agree with you, dude. Hey, CD should have got paid, paid. 
You mean to tell me they couldn't come out two more million? Two? And they gave whack Brent Scott? Daccuracy? 60 million? My boy hit, and hit a, uh, the bras out of a barn the other day, man. Deep balls. Bro, this is what was advancing to me. End of the first half. Opportunity for a Hail Mary. Our $260 million quarterback throws the ball all he's got. Everything he's got in his arm, and the ball went 40 yards, man. That's all you we got, got dudes with they back to the goal line. The ball fell at the 21-yard line. That's all you need. My boy couldn't throw the ball further than 40 yards, and we just gave him $260 million. What are we doing? Bro, at the flat football game, I threw a 40-yard pass, huh? I ain't lying. Yeah. That's why I said I'm going to do what that does. But Miles Garrett wouldn't buy a dollar on you. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> Absolutely not, he wouldn't. But still, man, like, my boy hey, moved 40 hey, yards. Hey, hey, hey let, me, let me tell y'all something. Jay, Jay, Mary, bro. Hey, Jay was good with the young. We ain't going to do it. Hey, I wasn't good. I was cold. Let's get it right. Hey, hey, I got hey. homies in the league that said I'm still the best running back they play with. But we ain't talking about me right now. We talking about Dak. Rag on. Hey, bro, you got 260 million. That's you can't right. throw the ball 50 yards down the field, bro. Hey, hey, you can't right. throw the ball 50. Pat Mahomes threw a 75 off his knees. Off his knees, huh? Yeah, that's Pat Mahomes. He got three Super Bowls, too, don't he? Our quarterback standing up full strength, 40 yards. <laughs> 40, bro. <laughs> 40. <laughs> that, oh, that, you saw it, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Y'all didn't see what I'm talking about. Go back and check it out. My boy threw the ball 40 yards. That's why all this stuff. he's that, got. That's why all this stuff that they say about people, that don't even matter. But we're paying them 200 and the highest paid quarterback in the his player in the history of the game. I'm oh, sure, I'm oh, sure the, he's got dumb teammates that can throw. Hey, next time we got a Hail Mary situation, uh, I'm sure, uh, put somebody else in there to throw that damn ball. Please. Please. Because he embarrassed himself, man. They should, that should have voided the contract. It ought to be some writing in there, some language. If you can't throw the ball 45 yards. No, it should be, but it's not. Right there. It ain't no other than 20. Put around, put a guarantee to sign it. And my boy can't throw it 129 feet around this hole. You see right now about Wait. this the whole thing. At the end of the day, I, like I say, level 13. That's what, that's what Jerry paid for. He paid. And see, this is the this is the thing. That that has been the quarterback while the Cowboys did what? Became the most expensive sports franchise in the world. Ain't the reason why? Well, 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 let me tell you like this. Yes, it, yes, he is. Yeah. Yes, he is. Yeah. Yes, he is. Yeah. Cause Cause he he said, because he, he, he got a sleep number. Yeah. He getting that good sleep at night? That's why. Because he's very, very, no, he's very popular. He's marketable. He's popular. I can wear my rose suits and that, that doesn't see. Yeah, Bob. After this the is game, the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, we didn't come winning around. Next now, week, just winning or losing. Keep working. Winning is yeah. losing strength to popularity. We see that at all sports. Oh, yeah. That's, that's winning is you. So, so, so Dak is very popular. That's a fact. And he, hey, he don't get in trouble. He say all the right stuff. He do all the right stuff. He said win the playoffs. Yeah. He's going to this this year if he stay if, if he don't get hurt, he's going to go throw for over three thousand yards. He's probably going to have nine to eleven interceptions with about twenty nine to thirty five touchdowns, yeah. which look all great until you play in the playoffs and you and you lose to Green Bay or San Francisco. Yeah. That's what Dak is going to do. And then, and you're gonna look and you're gonna have a one hundred. Answer rating, all of that stuff. That's what Jerry's paying for. Oh yeah, yeah, no doubt. No, I mean he, the consistency. Uh, there's always gonna be a story every Sunday. Yeah, oh, we're gonna be in the game. Yeah, well, not oh, yeah. us to play San Francisco. Yeah. And, and then when, the then when you yeah. down by, and then when you down Everybody by 13 or 21 against a good team, he gonna come back both for 200 yards. And by the end of the game, you gonna have good stats and all that. That's what that's what Jerry paying for. Man. He ain't paying to win no Super Bowl. Because he don't have to win a Super Bowl to be the most expensive franchise in the world. Well, this is it's a travesty to Dallas Cowboys. Because, but but this is the thing, Jay. We talked about it the other week. 
Jerry always wins. Yeah, he wins. Jerry's winning. And yeah, he's winning every year. Jerry is undefeated. Winning. Jerry got how many? He been since what, 89? Yeah. So we got 20, 25, or 35 undefeated seasons. Because he's up in the money every, yeah, every year. Every time. Every time. Was that 45? Yeah, 45 and 90 seasons. A, a whole lot of people don't understand. <laughs> and, and then all the other owners in the NFL love Jerry Jones because Jerry Jones. Gave all of them the opportunity to be independent businessmen because before the the NFL said everybody drank coats, yep. everybody wear Nike, yep. you know all of that. But now you can sign your own independent deal at your stadium for the soda. So now you get money that you wouldn't have got because now instead of me being Nike, I could be Reebok yeah. or Adidas or something. Yeah. Jerry brought all that to the league. Yeah, no doubt. No That's doubt. why you don't hear the other owners. You hear other people. You never hear the other owners criticize Jerry Look, Jones. Jerry, Jerry owns the food program. Yeah, right. He owns uh, what's it called, Legacy or something like that. Like they all the food in the suites and all the stadiums. That's a, that's a Dallas Cowboy thing right there. You know, they, they, he Jerry is about the experience, about the business. Yeah, and then wants a great experience. I understand that. I mean, I mean, it's all the experience. Right? And a lot of people say we're gonna win Super Bowl. What's the when they go to the star? Yeah, but your car should go in the locker room, fit it out. Man, you got bus tours, all of that. Oh, Everything. they make the the Dallas Cowboys Stadium alone makes thirteen million dollars a year from people coming just to tour the stadium. Yeah, exactly. Thirteen million a year to tour the stadium. So Jerry is winning. Can't wait. Why the Cowboys are off the board, man? Yeah. Off the board, Jerry is winning, and he's gonna keep. And then if he, and that's then he said, then he said, say, Doctor, you help me make two, three billion. I'll give you a hundred million. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. But, but, but yeah, so what I was saying, on those scores. Yeah, so this weekend, prediction. What you think about this Saints game? You know, like I said, they went out and beat, uh, you know, Carolina. I got a very Cowboys. strong team. I got 47 the Cowboys. I got the Cowboys. Cowboys, you got the Cowboys winning it all? Yeah, I got the Oh, you see. <laughs> Every week, I, I, I got the Cowboys. Because this, this is the thing that I'm going to realize. I'm going to be right level out of 17 times. No <laughs> minimum. <laughs> now, when I get to, after I win the playoffs, yeah, you got to ask me something else, but every week in the regular season, I got the Cowboys. Hey, man, you know, last time we played at home, we got a real a real bad taste in our mouth. You know? Oh, uh, Paul Green love. in love. Hey, and Philly went out and did that thing against Green Bay this week, this past week. So, but, uh, and Jordan Love is injured as well. Yeah, so, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm still going to take the Cowboys. Taking the Cowboys, no doubt. Cowboy. All right, oh. Yeah. Right on. Gotcha. Gotcha. I, um, I, I'm gonna take the Cowboys as well. I don't think it's gonna be an easy game. I just I was very impressed by our defense and our special. The game last week wasn't easy. Well, because our quarterback sucks. Well, well, even though he got paid. But yeah, I mean he was injured. Defense, defense didn't have a problem. Our kicker scored. We should have paid Brandon Aubrey two hundred and sixty million. Hey, hey, my boy almost lined up for a seventy-one yard field goal. Yeah, and I, hey. I, <laughs> I can't say he wouldn't have made that jump either. No, because he's a cocker. He is going for what? Uh, uh, they call timeout or something. He won. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah, nah, the Saints might be a sleeper though. No, nah, I, I agree with you right there, Goo Punch. They might be a sleeper, bro. Because I mean, Kamara's back and, and active. They got a li- uh, 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 a live. A la- uh, how you ever say it? How you yeah. say his name? Yeah. And uh, they got a good, they got an accurate passer back there. You know, tossing your rock around. You know? Yeah. 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 And, and that defense is always stout. Like, the yeah. pretty good team. The past four or five seasons, they've yeah. been yeah. real stout. Yeah. Or to run against those guys, yeah. you know, pretty good. I mean, but I don't think, sleep but but I don't think that they have the, uh, I mean, I'm just talking about horses. I don't even think they got the horses that Dallas got. I just don't think. Yeah. I mean, come on, the horse, you know. Adam Kamara is a horse. Yeah, he's um, a uh, uh, Alave. They got some other guys. I mean, Alvin Kamara. He got a lot of miles on him. He got like Zeke. He got a lot of miles on him. Yeah, Adam Kamara way more miles than Zeke. It's a different offense, though. They yeah. they're leveraging differently. He, he gets a lot of his yards in the past game and just, you know, they're a lot of out of route runs. Yeah, yeah. He ain't been getting beat up like Zeke was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he's a different type of quarterback. Yeah, yeah. 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 He really did. He looked a sliver to me. Man, that's I don't want to talk about it. I ain't never well. seen him look at me. Stop for not mentioning Zeke. The first rush, I knew Zeke was different. My boy, the cornerback wasn't even in attacking position. And Zeke jumped over a dude. It had to be five, five foot eight inches, and he hurled him, man. You know, he, he may have crossed a little bit, but 
Zeke, when I saw Zeke jump on, Zeke wasn't doing that two years ago with that weight he had on him. No, Zeke was looking fat to me when he left here. Chuck, Zeke was looking like Van Morris. Yeah, yeah. You know, he was looking 245 ish. My boy was looking like a fullback, not a halfback. He wasn't looking 218 or nothing. Look at that. But Zeke is looking. He looking good. You know, I can't say that. And, and so that makes me even more excited about when Dalvin Cook gets in the shape. What Zeke has to do? See, people will talk thinking, don't think Zeke finna come in and get 12 or 14, 15. He's not going to do that. If Zeke gets six, seven hundred yards rushing, 350 to 500 yards receiving, and block on third down, and get third and one, yep. that's all we need Zeke to do. Yeah, Zeke, Zeke does his job of keeping us going forward. Yeah, he keeps us on schedule, man. Yeah, keep us on and that's, that's all I cared about last year. I was like, man, why would that Zeke go? But I, I understand it now. It was, I think it was, it was more so of a, yeah, it was a, it was a money. Well, after after nobody else signed him, I think they could have got him for round one New England, got him at $3 million. Well, which then, is nothing. But I think it's more so if Zeke would have stayed here, he wouldn't be the player who he is he now. Down. Absolutely. All right, I think he took some things for granted. I think he got comfortable. Don't you ever get comfortable? That's what that's what Wayne and oh yeah, and, you know that's what Wayne said on the corner. Don't don't get too comfortable around here. No. So they sent him up north, let him play in the frigid cold in New England for a season. Hey, bro, it feel good in this uh, this AC at this star, huh? Oh yeah. It feel good in this AC oh. AT and T, don't it, Zeke? That 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 weather out them outdoor weather, that, you know it's. Inclement weather. That ain't that ain't the friendliest. That ain't what you want. But man, you know, it's um uh, it's cool to see Zeke, man, doing what he's doing and, and I'm excited. I'm excited about those things. I'm not our quarterback I'm is only he's thinking hold his back. Our quarterback is who he is. He's not gonna change. And the only way we're going to win the Super Bowl is that the rest of our team is going to have to be little special. We're not winning the Super Bowl. We're going to have to have a special defense and a special. I mean, you know. But we all winning the Super Bowl because I'm a Kansas City Chiefs fan now. I mean, I mean, it, I mean because it's go pack. It's been it's been, it's, it's been uh it's been teams uh has won the Super Bowl with very average quarterback play. Yeah. And and, and, and if they dumb it back down and don't expect too much of him, and we got a great defense, a great special team. We have a chance. Yeah, shout out JMA. You may be right, man, but we gotta we gonna see. He says he can't keep that up all season. You know, so yeah, we see, see we shall see. And yeah, good point. She said they stacked up a little bit on defense, talking about the Saints. Yeah, man. No, nah, it's we're gonna see what's up, man. It's gonna be a good game. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think it is. Pass I don't think the Saints defense is, is as good as Cleveland. No, I don't think so either. I mean, that's just what I think. Yeah. But that don't make it true. Because every year is different. Because sometimes with the team look one way this year, man, the next year you better got some shame. Say, what happened? What happened to them balls? What, what happened to them balls? What did happen, Wolf? <laughs> what did happen, Wolf? Yeah, man. So, more unfortunate news Sunday waking up, right? So, after I had my heart ripped out by seeing Dak, I was confused. I said, Tyreek is being detained before the mind, like, and I turn on the video and I see Tyreek Hill outside of the stadium. On the ground. Technically, the cops are there to escort the players in and make sure they get in safe. They got my boy Tackle. I ain't seen Tackle that hard. Have you saw, hard have you saw the old years. video? Have you saw the old video yeah. from, 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 from when Tyreek first talked to him? Yeah. Did we, you know, I'm going to say it like this. Look, I done heard, I done heard people say way well, worse than giving my ticket, bro, and going about your business now. No. I done no. seen some dudes be no. complete but no. the kind. No, no. They, they both was Tyreek. He got to understand the officer's position, and the officer is there to de-escalate, not escalate. And they escalated, but but now all he had to do is tell Tyree something to himself. He said, because Tyree Brothers was telling, he tapped on the one that probably did the hall. With his, with his, with his uh, flashlight. Yeah, yeah. But then after, after he asked him to let it down, then... He gave what he wanted, he did it back up. Yep. And all the officers, this would have been a good way for him to de-escalate the situation. He should have said, sir, for your, 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 your windows are tinted. For your safety and mine, I would like for you to leave your window down. That's what I mean. And I got to understand, since you got to look at the officers for the view, too, is that Tyree windows are tinted, you don't know what he's doing inside the car. But it's a way to ask him to do that. These officers must be the only officers. No, but that was on the road. They don't know who Tyreek Hill is. No, they, they, they know, know who he was. They, 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 they know, know who he was. 
So what kind of threat is Tyreek Hill on the way to his game speeding? Oh, that he ain't flashing guns. You ain't seen a gun. You ain't seen no cra a, a crazy activity. You haven't seen nothing besides a man speeding. But then this is what they, they were in the wrong 100 percent. I got nothing for them cops. Tell your ass, I hope you get fired and can't get a job nowhere, dog. Because it's bitch ass dudes like you that make people hate cops. You're yeah, absolutely bro. right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Because yeah, you're taking advantage of your position, bro. Absolutely. And look, I, 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 got, I got several cop friends, so don't get it twisted like I don't like cops. I ain't oh, a lot of cops. We need cops. But them dudes, those are bitch ass dudes. And excuse my friends, but they bitches, bro. Period. But, but then this is, this is Jonathan. You also got to realize this. You know, a lot of times, they ain't mad because they ain't getting that money, they ain't driving out of the car. Absolutely. I don't know how to get on a motorcycle. I totally agree with all of that. But sometimes you got to realize who you are. They want to they wanna, they wanna clown you, Tyree. They want to drag you out the car. Don't even give the opportunity to see the difference on the car. I mean, that, that's all I'm saying. I agree with you on that. Well, yet and still, I mean, on, on they, they, they ain't trying to downplay nothing they did. They were, first off, was ego tripping. No, they were already ego tripping. Because how many times do it take four police to stop somebody for a speed? There were four, uh, I was in with three motorcycles in the car. Oh, it's not legal for you to open up my car door, bro, without my permission, bro. Yeah, absolutely. And I have every right to let my window back up, dog, because who, who are you, bro? You a cop. You here to protect and serve. Absolutely. We pay your salary, bro. We pay your salary, dog. You here to protect and serve. Absolutely. And me saying, bro, write my ticket. That means I recognize I'm in the wrong and go about your business, bro. Like, ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh, now, I can understand if he was f you and and B, you know, call him a pig all, all this other. He wasn't doing it. He's like, bro, write my ticket. Are you going to make me late? You know, write my ticket, bro. Go about your business. Yeah. I was speeding. I ain't banging. I ain't flashing guns. I ain't shooting nothing in the air. You know, I ain't shooting up no school. We got cops in, in El Paso that won't even go and protect the kids at the school. But you want to pull until we got his car? But that was Bitch good. ass move, bro. Oh, yeah, I told no agree. Yeah, the dude with his hands all tatted up, bro. I hope you seen this, dog. You were stolen the earth, bro. <laughs> Cops don't like you, dog. No. Because you got a badge on and it make you feel like you got big nuts, bro. You will get your ass whooped, bro, nine times out of ten. Oh, well, Tyree could have took either one of them dudes out. So I'm not trying to hear none of that for the cops, bro. <laughs> no, I ain't. Tyree didn't do nothing. He, he spared. Okay, you write a ticket for that. But outside of that, Go on about your business, dog, just like he said. I'm not the I'm not an obnoxious one when it comes to cops because I ain't Tyreek. I ain't running Bro, like yeah, I do what you say, dog. I don't want no issues. Yeah. But bro, I'm right outside of my place of business. You have a job. You're here to protect me. Oh yeah, they down for the protecting the And now you wanna be on world struggle. You got it, bro, and you about to get fired behind it, bro. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Then they then they the worst thing they did, now let me tell you what's gonna get them fired. When the other a uh, dude would die the street, they walked the way he was. That's going to get to him. And to him. Yeah. That, I mean, now that's, that's where the problem is. And they recognize that they were starstruck. Oh, yeah, that's all it is. And, and they just, they ego tripping because they got these million dollar dudes over here. But and I'm they, in control. control. They got the gun on their hip. No, nah, but I'm in control. You know? yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. Bro, bro like, don't worry about that, bro. You look real weak. You look real foolish, man. Oh, yeah, straight really? up, man. That's why black America can't stand cops. I'm telling you right now. I got pulled over when I got my Delonte in, 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 in college, bro. I got pulled over 30 times because I'm black for no reason. Never got a ticket. Constantly harassed. Tired of it, bro. Tired of it, bro. You a bully just like Dak is to these bad teams. So I'm going to keep moving, man. We're going to leave Dak out of there, Dak. We're leave Dak out of there. You're going to put everything on Dak. Hey, I'm going to tell you like this here. Jay, I don't know I'm going to tell you like this here. Uncle 69. He been through war to Tyree, Jay, all them put together. Yeah, and then this whole thing, like I said, no matter. I mean, hiding here right now. You have to, you have to protect yourself also. Yeah, no doubt. No, no doubt. doubt. Because I'm going to tell you like this here. My wife that I got now, she know your off attitude. I mean, she yeah. know your off of attitude. Yeah. And she know what I'm capable of. Yeah. And you know what she used to tell me? What's that? She said, your job is to come home alive. Yeah, and that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact, and I, 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 I mean, because this been a couple of times. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it like this: If it was the police today, how police is are now, but back in the day, police would box with you. Yeah, yeah, 
I know some people. I mean, and I, 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 I'd, I'd much rather them do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's I mean, what I'm saying to me. That's, that's what, what I'm talking about. talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Because back in the day, I can call someone by name. Yeah. And he know firstly, they would take that belt off and say, oh, you like box. Song, yeah. And box you. And then when they box you, if they outbox you, they would take you to jail. And, and, and this is the thing, if they did not box you, they would get in their car and lick their wounds and drive off. You know, but they ain't like that no more. No, no, they ain't made like that. They take that badge and that gun on their hip. That makes it all the time. All the time they got is a, you know, and a whole bunch of them like big, 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 big balls. Like, no, no, no. You little balls. balls. Yeah, you, you got, got little balls, balls. little marbles. You got no marbles, sir. Because I'm going to tell you, go get, off that, go get off them steroids, bro. I was absolutely, uh, Tripping out on the, on that juice because I know more that, I, that ex, ex, because I know more ex athletes of of firemen than I know ex athletes of women. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To tell the truth, yeah, and I'm gonna tell you this this what this what me and my wife say is something happened around my house. I'm calling the fire department because they gonna come in. Absolutely, oh, leave be outside looking. Scary. Fire department coming in. Here acting like them cops in El Paso. Yeah. I mean, not that, uh, that wasn't El Paso, that was a... Uh, that was El Paso oh, lady going inside of this whole oh, 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 whatever they was in there wrong. Okay, in there scared. I know yeah. the name of the school. Yeah, that's right. same, same dudes that pulled Tyreek over and, 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 and pulled him out the car knowing he ain't doing nothing wrong. Same type of guys. Same, same type of cats. Same type of cats. And the police are built off of those type of guys. Absolutely. Because, Unfortunately. Because people really don't want to tell the truth where the police in the South came from, but that's a whole other story. Dudes couldn't get when girls was, when they was in, in high school and college, and now, yeah, absolutely. now they got to overcompensate. Oh, they, they got to keep the thing. Yeah, yeah, we're going to keep that moving. Because this is sports and technology. Yeah, man. <laughs> that, that old Tyree situation got me hot. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, man, so Pat Mahomes went out, did what he does against the Ravens, man. Beat Lamar again. Uh, Lamar didn't have his best show. And, Lamar, uh, so I'm seeing he's supposed to come on, but uh, I don't know. Something may have happened. Something's going on with yeah, him. Yeah, he's busy, busy, but, man. Uh, busy, man. It's all good. It's all good. So, uh, but yeah, they got that win. Man, Saquon Barkley, the Giants, like I say, are idiots. Somebody did. I'm with you, Michael. Somebody needs to go investigate the, the New York Giants for letting Saquon Barkley go to the Eagles. Well, the only reason they let Saquon go is because hell. Saquon, Saquon, you know, him. He only had one bad, he got one injury. Started right right there, two years. Two years? Yeah, two years. I mean, you know, he balling out when he down. Yeah. But your best ability is your availability, you know? Because mm-hmm. uh, we haven't started ringing the bell yet. But he played last year. Yeah, one of my first. Uh, we ringing the bell this week. We are? Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't even know. Oh, it's all good. We can ring around next week. Now. I mean, I can, yeah. yeah. We we'll ring the bell next week. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know. I, mean, I looked on the document you sent me. Is ringing the bell on that? Yeah. I, I put it on there late, though. Okay, okay, okay. you put because you said two. Yeah, I think I looked at the first one. Well, anyway, we'll ring the bell next week. Yeah. Oh, uh, on, uh, I, I know a little bit about him, but, uh, I mean, really, I know a lot about him, but I want to have all my facts straight. We're going to do it on, uh, Gail Sayers, right? Gail Sayers. Gail Sayers. Oh, that's a great and, name. And we talked about nicknames yeah. last week, and yeah. Gail Sayers had one, the Kansas Comet. The Kansas, Kansas Comet. He went to University of Kansas. The Kansas that's what's up. That's what's up. Gail Sayers, man, that's... And I'm just going to throw this throw this little tidbit in there. He's the first guy to score six touchdowns in one game. Yeah, that's crazy. And that's... I ain't going to ring him. In the thing. NFL. I ain't going to tell wild. too much more because I got to ring him next week. That is wild. Yeah, that's man. real wild. So Jim Harbaugh got his hands on the uh, L.A. Chargers, and they looked solid. Oh, yeah. Looked like a Jim Harbaugh team. Same type of team that took Colin Kaepernick. Run, run heavy. You know Herbert didn't have to do too much. Oh yeah, you know, and, and go out there and get a W, man. And that's the way. And that's what they did. And if you can get get to the point to where it's not but one quarterback can do too much and get away with it. Yeah. And that's Pat Mahomes. Man. All the rest of these quarterbacks got to have a governor on them. Got there, to man. be on point. Yeah. yeah they got to have a governor. Wait, 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 wait. Slow down. Don't do yeah. that. Don't do that. Yeah, you're right. Especially you like know, Josh Allen and I and mean, I, we can name quite a few other yeah. quarterbacks that got to have that governor. Dak got to have a governor. Josh Allen got to have a governor. Lamar got to have a governor. Yep. Justin Herbert got to have a governor. Yep. Um, I, I ain't going to necessarily say Joe, Joe Burrow because he went to one Super Bowl. He ain't, other than that, he ain't did a lot, but yep. he probably need a governor too. I'm going I'm to throw him on the governor list. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know, and, and if anybody don't know what a governor is, a governor – is uh, uh when you when you no matter how fast fast you mash on the gas, yeah. you can only go so fast. Yes, sir. Yeah, so hey. and everybody pretty much need a governor except Pat Mahomes, man. Hey. The way, I mean, I, I, I'm just being honest. You're right. You're right. But did, did you see this game? They needed a judge in this game. <laughs> they needed a referee because it was a scrap. It was a big brawl in that game. Which one? <laughs> in, uh, San Diego versus the Raiders. I mean, oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. LA yeah. Chargers versus the Raiders. That was a scrap right there, bro. Uh, Palmer and, and Jones. They both got some, uh, 
sent to the locker room, but somebody gonna get suspended. They were that. scrapping. Somebody gonna get suspended. I saw that. Max Crosby just coming there and just grab somebody and slang them for no reason. Old buddy wasn't even doing nothing. Well, this you know, like I was, I was like, man, these boys are scrapping. It's well, UFC. This is, see, this is the whole thing. Preview about to the it. sphere. See, that's what you call a free fall. Yeah, <laughs> because <laughs> see, when this start going for a free fall. Don't even be standing close to my dude. Man, I'm telling you. clock you for being too close. Exactly. But, you know, football is the wrong sport to really box in because they got helmets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got helmets. That's why he slung them down. Yeah. That's why he slung them down. Yeah, he slung them down. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean, they, they, do no they was trying to rip helmets off. I saw I saw Palmer grabbing old buddy by his face mask just trying to rip. I was like, man, these dudes are scrapping. Yeah. And I'm talking late in the game. Like, they really hate each other. I'm like, bro, they ain't even in L.A. no more. They ain't the L.A. Raiders. <laughs> Y'all like it's a turf war around here, now. They, they moved down the road to Vegas. What's going on? That's crazy. It was it was good though. It was good to see, man. I love seeing the passion. Hey, I love football passion. is a football is a violent, passionate game. And was that was that when people get violent and passionate, people act like they surprised. Yeah, I'm like. No, that's what it's all about. Yep. It just might have spilled over a little bit. Yep. But you, they just need to put it back in the cup. It's oh, the yeah. Same thing. Oh, yeah. And then we had C.J. Stroud come out and played against Indianapolis. Indianapolis, man, they always seem to, recently seem to come up on the losing side of things, but they always playing a close, close yeah. game. Yeah, they always you play. You know, it was a 29-27 game. I believe they went to, did they go to overtime? I believe they went to overtime in that game. But uh, it was a good game. C.J. Stroud did, you know, went out through for 234 yards, two touchs, you know. Uh, 115 passer rating. That's a quarterback. I love – if we had C.J. Stroud, we absolutely Super Bowl contender is all I'm saying. I think we might have him on the bench, but my guy's still getting ready. But uh, talking about young Trey, he got four years to get ready. That's that. That's what I'm – that's the only thing that makes sense. <laughs> that's the only thing that makes sense to me. Mike McCarthy was like, yo, uh, Aaron Rodgers needed four years. Jordan Love needed four years. Let's, let's, let's sign Dak to four years. I think they wanted him for three more because he already got one on his belt. But, hey, let's – Let's go on and get that, that four year deal. By the end of four Trey. years, Trey Lance will be in year six, though, right? Yeah, Trey will be, uh, but year he'll be 28. I mean, but he'll be in year six in the NFL. He'll be the same age as Bo Nix and, and, uh, and Michael Penix, though. So it's like having a rookie on the bench. You know? It's oh, like having a rookie. Yeah, yeah. I don't like them old guys as rookies. I don't. Me personally. Yeah, it's all good. Hey, because Jordan Love looks real good, though. Because if you're great, guess what? <laughs> you ain't got that long with you. Because you you're already 27, 28. You seen that 20, 26 year old uh, dude playing in Miami? Nine years in, in college. God, yeah. how you pull that off? Yeah, I, uh, hey. How you pull that off? Nine years? I don't and, even want to know. And you're getting your I bachelor's? I really don't even want to know. How you bro, you ought to get your doctrine when you. <laughs> see. That boy, he's going to be the see, first man. player to, to see, get man. drafted with his doctrine. <laughs> <laughs> like, Nine years, he's sure. I know. Nine That's crazy. Years. That is insane. He said they have two, three degrees. Yeah. He said have a, I mean, we're quite natural along the way to your doctor and you get your master's and your bachelor's, but yeah. he should have two PhDs. A long, Nine years. A, he's been up there a long time. Nine days. years, boy. Hey, that boy, that boy back, that's hey, a freshman in high school again. <laughs> and he's been in the college the whole time. <laughs> boy, went through K. First nine. elementary, oh, junior man, high, nine years. Nine man. year pulled so, off nine so, years so in college, dude, boy. Man, there's some dude within the sixth grade playing against him now. Goodness he gracious, was in the sixth bro. grade, now you're playing against him when you he know, was in college. That's what I'm saying. Ooh, that's too long. That's man. a long. That boy, grown man. Hey, uh, Mason Camp said he can't celebrate his touchdown. <laughs> That boy mm -hmm. playing against eighteen year olds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he can't do. He can't do nothing. Yeah, and then Baker Mayfield went out there, did his job, man. I love Baker Mayfield. People be hating on him, man, but that's a Heisman Trophy winner right there. Every level, he's done nothing but overcome expectations, right, and just win. The guy's a winner. The you know, boy, God. the boy took Pat Mahomes to the final seconds of the game in the playoffs, oh, yeah. and then they gave the job to Deshaun Watson. Dumb. That's why the Cleveland Browns are gonna be in the gutter forever, man. Forever, Stuff like that. They always make it bad. They don't never stick with nobody. It's like what? What? What more do I got to prove, bro? I took the the doo doo Browns. You know, hey, when somebody say the Browns in the Super Bowl, they talking about the toilet and they just went and took a dump. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Anybody to get close to taking the real Cleveland Browns to the Super Bowl. Deserve an opportunity to come back and run it back, man. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, they didn't I, give that young man that I chance. I didn't never understand that move either when Cleveland went and got Deshaun. Yeah. I was like, y'all got Baker. And, and Baker just went and out guess there. Guess what? Now Deshaun was looking like, like they not talk like, about Baker. Not Baker like was. Baker. Yeah. But they but they talk like Baker look like what Sean is doing. Yeah, exactly. But he didn't look like that on the field. Hey, Baker went out there and threw for two hundred and eighty four touchdowns and with a one forty six point four rating. And then what what people Solid. don't like about Baker, Baker's a little cocky. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I, love it, I want my quarterback cocky. 
And this is the whole thing. Trump, Tom Brady, you think he wasn't cocky? It's a it's a thin line between cocky and confident. No, cocky. I think, is it's, cocky. A, I think it's the same thing. Yeah, I, the only, very very close. The, the, the Baker, only, Baker's just the he, only he's the in the camera only, a little more. The, doing the, the, the only difference between cocky and confidence is that confidence is that I know I can do it. Yep. Cocky is I know I can do it. And I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you about it. I'm gonna tell you I can do it. Yeah. So this is I mean so I ain't even mad. Yeah. Because if I can do it, I ain't got no problem telling you I can do it. You right about that. You right about that, man. They ain't got no problem. Man, that's crazy. I'm trying to see if this thing has changed on us a little bit. Let me see something real quick. Hey, guys, uh, hold on one second. I'm just checking something. I know the screen is kind of funky. Just want to make sure I got the same code and the codes are right uh, for our guests when our guests come on uh, because we do have Jonas joining us here shortly for a little tech talk, and I want to make sure that all is well. Oh, you got yeah, Jonas yeah, for a little yeah. techie talk? Yeah, that's in a little while. Oh, that's yeah, I know. It, we I still know. got some more to talk about in this football space. Oh, yeah, we still good on that. Cool. Cool. But back to the business, man. And last but not least, man, the highly anticipated game, Aaron Rodgers. Unfortunately for him, he had to come out and uh, play the team that beat him in the last game that he played, 13-12, to when he lost to San Francisco in the playoffs. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I had on a second ago. We're oh, back, okay. right? We're back. Oh, right, oh, 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 oh. It's just like a little yeah, yeah, little yeah, mm-hmm. okay. yeah, yeah. So, uh, Aaron Rodgers, what you think about A. Rod's uh, performance back from his Achilles injury? And it's that's a heck of a, a injury to come back from. I think he did good to come back off of that injury, but I think the expectations in the Jets are, and, and Aaron Rodgers is way off the charts. Aaron Rodgers ain't finna lead no New York Jets to no Super Bowl, and people talk like he is. Well, they say that because the Jets' defense was so solid last year. I mean, the Jets really, they got a very good defense. They got a top five, top ten defense And this easily. is the thing that I, <laughs> that kind of baffles me sometimes. You talk about Aaron Rodgers, like he in the same category with Tom Brady or Pat Mahomes. He got one, man. Yeah, he's only got one Super Bowl win, but I mean, over his career, like when it comes to accuracy and, <laughs> and, 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 and winning, like Aaron Rodgers, it's hard you know, to not, you know what I give not on that level. I don't give like, a damn about accuracy. I give a damn about wins, man. I do too. I'm and with guess you on what? That. I, I mean, but I'm, I'm just saying they talk about Aaron Rodgers like he's in the category with multiple Super Bowl winners, and he's not. Yeah, he hadn't been. He I hadn't mean, been. you know, he what he, he he's, he's got, got he's one. very accurate. He throws his wide receivers over, yep. but he don't win Super Bowls. So that's yep. all I can tell you. He's got one under his belt. Yeah, one. And, and he's yeah. been he's been more than once, right? No, no, no. He only been once. Okay. He's only missed just been one time. I think he just I thought they got a, a L. They took, they yeah, where? Well, well, he been twice in a L. Cause That's uh, what well, they lost. Don't, the, the only one count is the, the only one counts the one you won. The one you lost. Don't P- count. Pittsburgh won that Super Bowl they played here, right? It was Green Bay versus Pittsburgh. Oh, you, you know what? They shit you, yeah. 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 yeah okay. Yeah. So he went to two. So, he, so, so I mean, so, what I'm I mean, just saying, but they we can't I say the same about our quarterback. We just trying to get to one. No, no, no. I, I mean, no, no, no. I ain't even trying to nothing. Now, just because I say Aaron Rodgers ain't ain't nothing bad. Yeah, and Dak Prescott ain't had Rod. Exactly, that, that's a whole lot of that's a whole nother story. But he makes way more money. And well, it's a it's a new day he, and he time getting, now. Dak getting paid like he is Prescott, Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, uh, Roger Staubach combined around nah, here. Nah, well, this, know, this is the whole thing. Like, come on, the man, next I, I the next quarterback up for money gonna get more than that. If it if it if it's Jace Allen, Justin Herbert, Burrow. Uh, Pat Mahomes is about one or two. Josh, uh, whoever, it's just about five or six quarterbacks. When they yeah. contract up, they're going to go past that. But that's, just a, that's just the way it is. Everybody wants more than the last guy. And what's phenomenal, because when that got the other money, it was this, but then it, it five or six guys passed him up from there. Yeah. So they're going to pass him up. He ain't yeah, going to stay the highest paid long. long. Yeah, yeah, man. And, yeah, and, man. and that's the same way like CD. He's the second highest paid receiver now. When 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 our Tyreek Hill and Jamal Chase and all them, they're going to go past CD. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I mean, not a bunch of them. Yeah, you always right. four or five of them. I think Jamal Chase will for sure. I yeah, Jamal Chase. Uh, Tyree Hill Tyree should be should. Tyree Hill, Hill ain't no doubt about it. He should. Yeah, yeah. and that's why them guys are doing that. There's probably one or two I'm not calling their name that's in that category that don't mean they will. They're going to be in the same range. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. So now we're going to call this the good, the bad, and the ugly from this week in the NFL. So... You know, I'll start with you. What were, what were some good good things you saw? What were the, the, the best parts of the NFL week one that you saw? 
the best part of the NFL week that I saw is Patrick Mahomes still is who, who, who we think he is. Yeah, you know, that, 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 was, that was one of the best things. And then uh, one of the other best things that some, some teams won big or – or it looked like it may be some different teams in the running this year. Yeah, no doubt. You know, because sometimes some of these same old teams in the running ain't doing nothing. Yeah. Just trying to see some fresh blood. Yeah. You know, so I see some teams that, you know, like uh, New Orleans, they kind of struggling lately. New Orleans look, look real good. Now, we'll see. I mean, Dallas, no matter how we talk about it, Dallas is just one of the upper echelon teams. And to the, and the be in the upper echelon, you got to be at least beat Dallas. Yep. So we'll see. I mean, but it was, it was some uh, good the good things that I saw. And then another good thing I say, I saw, you know, some some things from Dallas is promising. The offensive line is promising. Yep. And the, and the defense sure is promising. And Dak is who he, who he. That's part of the bad. That ain't part of the good. What's, yeah. So what's part of the bad for you? You know, some bad some some bad things you saw this week. And, and understand there is a category worse than bad, and that's the ugly. So we gotta. Oh, the bad thing. You know, everybody think I don't like Lamar. I was about to say you gonna. Say, I know you are gonna say Lamar. I just but knew you was gonna say Lamar. No, because because I be pulling for Lamar and I want Lamar to do good, but Lamar keep doing the same thing. Yeah, appreciate the trip. Appreciate you, bro. I'm not saying that Lamar's a bad player. I mean, Lamar when he Lamar got some of the most beautiful throws in the NFL. When they're in the air, throws, how runs, they zing, yeah. And then he got some of the best runs. That release. Just, just leaving dudes, shaking them out their shoes. What you comparing to? Huh? What you comparing to taking a taking a beautiful girl to the prom but, and just getting a kiss at the end of the but, night? But they don't kiss you at the end of the night. They <laughs> shake their hands. <laughs> <laughs> and out of all that stuff Lamar do, at the end of big games, mm -hmm. he come away with the L too many times. Yeah. And that's the ugly to me. Yeah. I'm not, I mean, the, the bad. The bad? Yeah. yeah. So, so what's the ugly that you saw in the NFL this week? The ugly is what I always see. When I seen some of the worst tackling I ever saw in my man, life. In what, man, in what game? <laughs> Every game. Yeah. I mean, even though it was a good game. I'm listening. I'm just getting to But it's just that right. the, 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 the tackling is, especially in the secondary, is, uh, is horrific. And I'm going to say it like this. I seen some of that even in the, in the Ravens game. Yeah. Even in the Ravens Kansas City game when <laughs> – when uh, uh, Derrick Henry got that ball on the edge, yeah, even Kansas City, a couple they play a little, they didn't hey, want no. Hey, they, I'm, I'm, <laughs> they, don't, they look don't, like they don't look want like them. they didn't want no. <laughs> yeah. I tell you that you right know, now. So I'm saying like making business yeah. decisions. Uh, I'm just saying. Boy, so, hey, the best the best ability is what available. Yeah, and when and Derrick Henry come around that corner, dog, you, <laughs> you trying to make sure you're gonna be available next week. That's why I'm end up like Shiloh, <laughs> get trucked and break a forearm or something, bro. You know, so so that's the ugly is just that the tackling. Some of these guys, you know, they're getting the big money, but they don't want to, you know. Yep. They're getting the big pay, but they don't want the big play. Yep, yep, yeah. that's a fact. And that is a ugly. fact. That is a fact, man. <laughs> so, yeah, no, that's the good, bad, and the ugly, man. So, the good for me, uh, of course, Pat Mahomes. That goes without saying. Uh, the New Orleans Saints offense, man, and, that, you know, just what they were able to do with Carolina or Carolina, and, and Carolina is absolutely the ugly for me. Yeah. You know, and, and, and Bryce Young, man, like, you got to figure it out, youngster. You know, you, you got picked first. High expectations, obviously, right? Talked a good game, uh, you know, but didn't didn't produce very much. Uh, also, the bad for me uh, was Chicago's offense. Uh, Caleb Williams, not not what uh, a lot of people wanted to see. They they that was they won that game with pure defense and special teams, right? Yeah. Uh, and I know he's a rookie, but uh, you got super high expectations, bro. You know, and I know uh, even Peyton Manning came in and had a bad, you know, rookie season. So I'm not about to be too critical of you, Caleb, but, yeah. you know. Um, Peyton Manning, Troy ta Abel. Yeah, talking as yeah. much as you talk now, you got to you gotta come put up some of that. Yeah, you know? yeah or, or be quiet. Talk. Or be quiet. Yeah. One of the two. Yeah. You know, and, uh, you know, the ugly is absolutely uh, the, the Panthers, man. That That's just real bad. I don't know. Maybe they just got a plan and just – maybe they want to just go over, you know what I'm saying, and, and go ahead and join Detroit as the – you know, most lo losing his team ever because I don't see I, them getting the win this and year. And then I think some of these owners has came to the uh, realization is that I'm not going to win no Super Bowl, so I ain't finna pay nobody no whole bunch of money. Y'all can go play for Dallas, San Francisco, whoever paying money. Y'all can go over there and pay. 
But I'm going to make my money off of the TV contracts and what I make on this stadium. Yep. But I'm not giving it all away. And I'm going to say it like that. Some of them seem like they have resigned because they ain't trying. I mean, you know, and then you got to realize that some of these guys are in small market and they can't get nobody to come. I mean, because yeah. I'm going to tell you like this. It's, <laughs> it, I wouldn't. I was surprised when Deshaun Watson went to Cleveland. Mm, yeah, I, I mean that's 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 one place it's hard. Yeah, in, in any sport, football, basketball, or baseball, it's hard to get somebody to come to Cleveland. And, and I can't I can't let I can't let Cincinnati off the hook now. Yeah, let's go on and jump into these okay, two pictures. So it ain't gonna uh, take Uncle long to call this one. First up, we got Bills Dolphins. Who you got? I got the where they playing at? In Miami. I almost take the Bills still. I got Miami. Saints Cowboys. Who you got? I got the Cowboys. Cowboys right here all day. Raiders, Ravens, who you got? Ra oh, Ravens. In Baltimore. Ravens, it don't matter why, Ravens. Ravens. So the second team I say is the home team. Okay. All right. Uh, Browns, Jags. Browns, Jags. I'm going to go Browns. I got Jags. Jets, Titans. Ooh, that's ugly. Oh, I'm going to go Jets. You're going Jets? They in Tennessee now. I, I got, I got, uh. I'm going Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, I got Jets. I got Jets. Yeah, yeah, I got Jets. Forty yeah. Niners, Vikings. Who you got? Oh, I got Forty Nine. I got Forty Niners as well. Uh, Chargers, Panthers. Charge. Oh, uh, I got Chargers all day. Chargers, yeah. Panthers don't have a shot. They might beat A and M this year. <laughs> uh, Seahawks, Patriots. Who you got? <laughs> I'm gonna go Seahawks. Who? Hey, Geno Smith is real. I got Geno. Yeah, I'm gonna going go Seahawks. back to that East Coast. Yeah, I'm gonna go Seahawks. I got Seahawks. Uh, Giants, Commanders. I'm going to go Giants. Man. I'm going Commanders because the Giants, trash. Taking that out of the page of the, uh, my boy Bubba Dub. Bubba but they got they got Dan Quinn, which is trash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going to get Dan Quinn. No coaching, you know what. <laughs> Appreciate your trip. Hey, you real, bro. Appreciate that, dog. Hey, we just getting it started. Got to start somewhere, baby. Yeah, yeah got to start somewhere. Yeah, man. Uh, next up, we got Bucks Lions. That's going to be a good game like it was in the playoffs. Oh, I'm going Lions. Lions, Lions, Lions. At home, Lions? Yeah, I did, I did. I like Dan Campbell. I'm, I'm, I'm going with Dan Campbell. Hey, and I'm man. going with Jerry Gall. I'm going with the Baker Mayfields, Tampa Bay Buccaneers for the upset victory in that one. That's who I'm going with. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> But because I, I like the Lions too. Oh yeah, yeah you know yeah. I just picked up one of their players. Uh, Colts Packers, no Jordan Love. No Jordan Love. I'm gonna go Colts. Yep, I think that's a safe pick. I'll go Colts as well. Uh, we gotta see what Anthony Richardson does though. I, yeah, I'll go Colts. Mm. Uh, Rams Cardinals. I'm gonna go Rams. I got Rams too. The Rams. Uh, no, 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 no. I got Cardinals, man. Even I, though I they lost, they lost. They who did they? They lost to the Chargers. Uh no, the I mean, uh, who the Rams lose to? The Rams week? lost to uh, uh, Detroit. Detroit, yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And it was a tough game, so I'm taking the Rams. I'm taking the Kyler Murray's mm. all day long. Hey, Kyler had a great performance this past weekend. Took an L, but it was a solid performance by that kid. Hey, that dude looks so fast, so quick. He makes people miss like it's his oh, job because yeah. it Kyler is his job. Doing, Kyler been doing that since he was 11 years old. Yeah, man, that's what he does. Maybe so, nine. That's why I'm picking him. Yeah. Steelers Broncos. Steelers Broncos. Yep. I'm taking Steelers. I got Pittsburgh as well. That defense was lights out this past weekend, man. Uh, Bengals, Chiefs. Oh, Chiefs. I ain't, no, they ain't picking nobody over the Chiefs. Ain't no smoking Joe's. Only one that beats Patrick Mahomes religiously. But I still got the Chiefs. Uh, Bears, Texans. Sunday night football matchup. I'm taking Texans. Ooh, that Bears defense. TJ Stroud. I'm taking TJ. That Bears defense is real. I'm taking TJ. But, but they, they getting were... beat <laughs> yeah. by them Texans. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking them Texans. I'm taking the Texans as well, man. Uh, Falcon, Falcons, Eagles, who you got? Oh, uh, Eagles, Eagles, Eagles. Got them Eagles? Yeah, I got them Eagles. Man, I hate the Eagles. I hate, I hate them too. Them the I, hate, I hate them too, but I'm telling the truth. Just cause hey, I don't like. <laughs> Falcons ain't got nothing for the Eagles. I'll tell you that right now. No, no. Hey, uh, Kirk, Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins is just trying to save his job right now. Oh, yeah. My bad, y'all. I got I to gotta make a little adjustment real quick. We good. But yeah, man, that's, that's, the, that's the week two predictions, man. Y'all can take it to the bank. Go to Bet US, man. Hey, we will. Uh, I post our QR code on the uh, on the page, so you guys can join us in, uh, in the bets this week, man. But um, hey, man, I, that's how I get down with the bets, man. I'm 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 uh, parlaying all day. I know people like to do prop bets, man. I just I believe in myself and my my consciousness. Oh man, I man. see the only thing I used to play all that parlay and stuff, but you know, I'll get I'll get to I'll get to quit doing all that because 
He was, he was going in too deep. Boy was taking them L's. Uh-huh. No, hey. I wasn't taking no L's. I was winning, but it was just starting to be a little obsession. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Then when you hey. start obsessing, you know, the only, the only thing I'm obsessed with now is money. Hey. I'm getting more of it. <laughs> Bet, betting can be like anything else that you get addicted to. Hey, bet responsibly. All uh-huh. right? Yeah. If, it, if it's your rent, bro, like, uh, don't don't put your rent money up. Please don't. No. And your Please car don't. no money like I have before. Good thing he won. Good thing he won. <laughs> hey, you were sure about that bet. <laughs> hey, no, I was I mean, I was sure <laughs> when I bet it, but during the process, I wasn't so sure. Yeah. Looked like I was finna go down one time. I oh, had. man. <laughs> so what you're looking at right now is the newest fantasy football league, and oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Hey, it didn't, things didn't work out too well for myself. But uh, Jonas currently is in first place. Let me let me let me. Who Jonas be? Who are you? Tell who they be. Oh man, I don't, I, don't, I don't even know who they be. Oh, I don't okay. even know who Jay beat this week. Huh? But okay, he, he got that dub. Okay, Jay in first place. Hey Woods, what's going down, big dog? Steeler Nation, baby. Hey, I'm about that black and yellow, black and yellow as well, bro. You know, but we just Dallas country over here. NFC. Oh yeah, still in NFC East, but I, I respect them Steelers, bro. Hey, matter of fact, go and hit that subscribe button, big dog. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. if you no, no, I'm saying? You know, let's have these conversations hey, more often. The only thing you know? I like is still until they play the Cowboys. Hey, I mess with I mess with Mike Tomlin like all oh, the way yeah. through and through, bro. Oh, no, like, oh, I'm yeah, a, yeah, yeah. I mess with Mike Tomlin. Like I'm 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 a, I'm a closet Steeler fan. Like oh, yeah. like tell you the truth, bro. Like you know, and, and I love that Steeler and Raven. Um, you know, I love when they play each other. That's the that's the grimiest hey. game of the season. Every season. Hey, to me. this is what I want. This is what I want my uh, newest fans to think about. N- newest people. Hey, appreciate you, hey, Woods. Let's Who done had the best linebackers, the Ravens or the Steelers? You got you to go all the way back. You got to go all the way hey, I back. I mean, if you go back, you got to say the Steelers because they had a longer history. Right? The Ravens yeah. been around. But since the Ravens, they they compact. Hey, Ray Lewis and Raekwon Smith alone, bro. But oh. we talking uh, Greg Lloyd, you know. James Harrison. James, oh. Oh, Get that, get that, Ugh. pick up the ball at the two yard line and run 99 yards. Out of there, and, dog. And Larry Fitzgerald can't catch him. In the bowl. In the bro. Super Bowl. That's what I'm counts. talking about. Yeah, he did it when it counts the most. Hey, Say, man, James Harrison, boy, hey, he, that boy definitely got CTE. He need to go on CTSPN. My boy still uh, bitch pressing 500. But anyway, fans. we back on Noonies. He's playing no yeah, more. Yeah, because we'll we talk about that. <laughs> but anyway, think about that, uh, Noonies people. Yeah. Who you think got the best linebacker? Because we're we going to ask the question one day. Yeah, man. Hey, so. Hey, I, I think I think I think uh, Trip got that win. Trip, one. Of, so if y'all don't know, we invited our, our uh, subscribers to come and join the fantasy football league, man. And we got two two Trip of our best goals. that that are religiously Goop on punch. the show, man. Goo punch and, and Trip, Trip the ghost, man, are in the fantasy football league, talking that ish, just how we like it. That's why we made it. Everybody come talk ish, man, and they doing it well. But Jonas is leading the league right now. Hey, First Jonas got last last year. You know, me and Christiana got L's. We was in the championship last year. We took L's in our first week. And I scored the lowest amount in the whole league. This is crazy. So give us a rundown how it's going. Hey, man. Jones you know, in first. I can't tell. Jonas is in the league. My phone died right here is why I can't tell. Oh. Actually, matter of fact, I can't. I got you. I got you. Y'all bear with me. I know yeah. y'all can see this in the background. Y'all see my phone apps. Let me hit the league up. Let me hit the league up. Standings oh. right now. So we got fat ass losers. Jonas Bull in first place. Uh, Yazerski, Anthony Fava, uh, Dak to the Future, Donnie Boaz, uh, actor Donnie Boaz, Goo Punch, Mr. Punch, and um, and, and Mark Clayton all went 1-0 and this week. On the opposing side of that, uh, Speed Kills, Ray Edwards, former Olympian, uh, track star, is uh, 0-1, scored 218 points, scored the most of the losers. Uh, trip the Ghost, Jung Gang, Trip, Trip a la, 0-1. He took an L this week. Lewis Hammer time, our uh, reigning champion. Miss um, <laughs> Christiana Yeb was 0-1. And Unk and myself round out the bottom, man, of the worst weeks in fantasy football. But, hey, we got heart. Yeah, because Unk had uh, – We got heart, dog. Christian McCaffrey yeah. in the starting lineup. Yeah. But Christian McCaffrey standing there with his arm <laughs> McCaffrey wasn't even suited out. He wasn't even suited out. <laughs> Unk did, and then this the whole thing. Unk didn't know – and even if Hong knew, he probably would have just rolled it out. Yeah, <laughs> man, it's all good. But that's hey, all right. I'll catch him next week with Chris. Chris is coming back soon. Yeah, if you they missed out, if you missed out on an opportunity to play the fantasy football league this year, next year, man, make sure you get your bid in because we're gonna do it again. It's a fun time trip. Goo, I'm coming for you, dog. Oh yeah. You know, oh hey, yeah. Don't, hey, 
Hey, take me lightly, please. Don't even worry about Trent, me. I'm going to tell you what goes this. This ain't got nothing to do with Jay. Trip, by you being our first subscriber, I'm going to figure out something. But I'm going to got something for you, Trip. Yeah. I got to figure out exactly what it is. I don't know you personally. I don't know what you like, what you do like, don't like. But I'm going, hey, I might have to give you one of these noonish hoodies so you can so you can sport it out there and love them. Yeah. yeah some. Yeah, we got some for you just for, just for being the first subscriber, man. You know, we love that, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. And we, we, we want you, you know, we definitely appreciate your trip, bro. I think I told you that enough already, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But I can't say it enough at the same time. Can't say it enough, man. I mean, cause um, you always down with us. Yeah, you're, you're you're a great supporter, man. Hey, bro, you you helped me out with the tech, the AV side when the, when the when the microphones are, 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 are a little bit echoey. You let us know what's going down, cause we just want to produce a good product. At the same time, we just on here talking. So, oh yeah, just, you know, just having fun, man. Yeah. We ain't trying to hurt nobody feeling. We ain't trying to take no super political side or no super religious side. We talk about sports. That don't mean we don't have one. Yeah. That just means we ain't gonna talk about it on yeah. here. Yeah, man. That's it. That's it. This ain't the platform for it. And uh, you know, we, we talk about sports and tech, man. That's it. That's just how we get down. That's how we get down. But uh good lord. Man, yeah. My computer is going, yeah, we're just going gonna, berserk right now. Yeah, we're just gonna keep it moving. But anyway, yeah. we're gonna keep this thing rocking, man. Uh, Texas uh, University of Texas Longhorns, hook them. Boys out there balling. You know, we're not there. Dominated Michigan from beginning to end. What a performance. What a show. That's how you go be the national champion. And somebody, please tell me how in the world a head coach can be a head coach of a university and not have a contract. I don't understand. How does that work? He's the interim. What? I guess. Like, I ain't even heard that. I just know he don't have a contract. My boy is coaching without a contract. So how much? I mean, he got to have some kind of. I call that a fall guy. So was he? Uh, was he an assistant last year? He was the guy that took the role once Jim Harbaugh was suspended, and then now since he left and went to L.A., he is now the head coach in Michigan. I don't understand how you can do that. That I, you can't work at Walmart without a contract. You can't. So he. I can't pick up trash for the city. Last year? Yeah, remember when Jim Harbaugh got suspended for the? Yeah, then, uh, then he came back. Well, he was already there, but he oh, now he's yeah. back in place as the head coach. They named him the head coach, but he doesn't have a contract. Like I, I don't know. He's still he's still coaching under the assistant coach contract. Is that what it is? As I the mean, head coach? I guess so. If you don't have a contract as a head coach, but he had a contract as assistant coach, I guess he. Still working under the same contract. But he's the head coach. Like, I, I need somebody to explain this to me. Like, how that's even possible? I can't do nothing. You can't do anything in 2024 without a contract in place. I mean. And why would you? You already got one in place, so you must be working under that one if you ain't got a new one. I guess, but if, look, if if, if Why I'm, would I coach Michigan at, for a sister coach salary as a head coach? Yeah, if I I'm mean, promoted, I don't there's understand. no way... I don't understand. I'm going to remain under no, the same contract. I'm just trying to figure it out like you. I'm, I'm just trying to throw some shit. Yeah. Throw it, some, it, uh, I'm trying to throw something against the wall, see if something stick. That means. But ain't nothing sticking. Is he volunteering? I don't think so. Like, I'm trying to figure that out. Somebody let me know. If you know, hey, that's I-N-G-I-N-L-L-C at gmail.com. Email me that's some, some some something that's to usually, tell me how this works. That's usually the way that it works. Is that, uh, like, if a coach... Is gone, and then you say, okay, well, you step up, and, and you be our coach in the interim. Yeah. They probably make some kind of handshake deal with you that will do it, but, but you're playing for the same contract that you're already under. Yeah, you I mean, you're coaching. And I, it ain't no way in the hell I would do that. No, that's, that's crazy. I've got a lot more responsibility now. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, with that being said, great game, Texas. Went out there and dominated Michigan. That was fun to watch. Oh. Great way to wake up Saturday morning. Oh, the rest yeah. of my Saturday was trash. Okay, so following that game, Notre Dame, let's talk. Marcus Freeman, let's talk, bro. Let's have a heart-to-heart -heart real quick, bro. All right? This is the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, bro. Hold on, man. When you talk about fandom, it's real, bro. It's real in the field, dog. And we got real expectations. <laughs> now, my expectations for Notre Dame ain't quite the same as the Cowboys because I know I understand our academic guidelines. 
Right now, understand how that can handicap you. So that alone makes me uh, give them a little grace when we don't go out and win national championships year after year. But we are competitive, and we we expect to beat the the no name teams. Okay, not saying that Northern Illinois is a no name team, but I am saying that Northern Illinois is a no name team. Compared to Notre Dame, compared to the blue and gold fighting Irish Notre Dame, Bruh. First off, let me let me commend you first, okay? Defensively, we know you were a defensive coach and you've done a great job. You've built an excellent defense. Our defense is not the problem. Our defense is very strong, and I appreciate what you've done on that side of the ball. Even on offense, skills positions. Oh my gosh, bro. You've done a great job bringing in. This is probably our strongest receiving core we've ever had, bro. No. No, our strongest receiver, yeah, uh, probably our strongest receiving core we've ever had. I don't, I'm not taking that back. I meant that. Okay. We have a lot of athleticism and talent on the outside. Again, our receivers can't throw to themselves. Running backs. You I know just, y'all had Tim Brown now. Don't forget. Yeah, that. but yeah, I said core. No, that's just one guy. No, we, by himself, he better than old guy. But anyway. <laughs> That's I can't another, deny that. That's another story. Tim Brown's That's another story. Tim Brown's call. I'm, I'm, just, I'm yeah. just messing with you here, y'all. But, but, but collectively, no, but you know, ahead, we you have weapons on offense yeah, yeah, I don't. at receiver. <laughs> Running backs. You've done a great job. Audrey Estime is now in Denver. The kid is uh, an amazing running back. Our running backs now. Love. Right? Uh, we've got a couple, number three, number 24. I don't know their names off the top of my head right now. Great running back. Great running backs. Solid old line. Tight end strong every year. You're going to find that at Notre Dame. Great job, bro. But when it comes to quarterback, bro, you have disappointed me. Lazy, bro. Quit being lazy, dog. Quit being lazy. Two years in a row, you've gone out and gotten the ACC quarterback. First of all, the ACC They've been talking about them not even having – I can't believe the Pac-12 dismembered before the ACC because they've been talking about well, dismembering the ACC either, but that's another story. For, uh, for so long. Nothing has come out of the ACC in, in two decades. But you go and get my guy from Wake Forest. He's in Washington right now. But this year, you got lazy again, bro. And you settled, bro. For a quarterback that came out of Duke University. Duke! I'll take a point guard from Duke, but not a quarterback. A point guard? No, I'm just <laughs> Kyrie Irving can play better quarterback than the dude you got up there right now. Bro, please stop getting these whack-ass ACC quarterbacks. They got nothing, bro. Think about this. Duke University is on my schedule. I'm counting that as a win. That's a home. I don't know how many homecomings Duke's been a part of. Northern Illinois, it should be a W for Notre Dame all day, every day. Nobody cares about Duke, so yeah, the guy's going to be exceptional in his games. Nobody's getting up for this guy. And you bring this kid in and treat him like he's Joe Montana. Meanwhile, we just beat Texas A&M because of our running game. The kid was trashed last week at A&M. Two weeks ago. And you're putting the whole offense on this kid's back. Meanwhile, we got number four. Hurdling guys running for 40-yard touchdowns to take the lead in the game. That We should have been blowing these dudes out had we been running the whole game. Run the football. Your quarterback is trash, dog. I'm sitting there. I got a live Notre Dame game going. I'm like, look, we up two minutes left. Hey, we're up 14, 13. Oh, my gosh. Hey. We throw a first down pass. My next comment comes out. I said, hey. Fourth quarter, that D-line is tied. Let them fat boys lean on them. Man, what is going on? To run, you're going to mess around, throw a pick. Why are we stopping the clock? Like, just things like this just wear me out. Things that don't make sense, man. Yeah, and look at this full throw. And it's, I just called it. I just called it. I just called this. Yeah, why, why are we throwing the football? If we throw an interception, they're probably going to come back down and kick a field goal and win the game and no, leave us no time on the clock to come back. That's exactly what happened. Quit 
scheming up offenses for this lame quarterback. The boy can't do it, bro. He's never been in these shoes. Everywhere he's gone, he's been underestimated so he can perform at a high level. Nobody gets up for Duke. Everybody gets up for Notre Dame. The kid is trash, bro. Figure it out, bro, or I'm going to be calling the boosters. I am part. I am an honorary member of the Notre Dame uh, club, okay? I call the boosters, bro. Tell them to get Marcus Freeman ass up out of here, man. <laughs> My boy Game Time Decisions is trash. He's done great recruiting, bro, and I want you here, Marcus. I like you, dog, but you've been lazy at quarterback. We have – you can go to any of five Texas high schools in Dallas – Right now, and get a quarterback that can lead that team and do a better job than what that quarterback's doing. Come recruit in Texas, bro. Get you a good quarterback, dog. That's all I'm saying. Get out the ACC, bro, or you're going to lose your job. When was it? Trevor Lawrence, Deshaun Watson, last time national championships came out the ACC, and they both went to Clemson. You getting quarterbacks from Wake Forest and Duke, bro. <laughs> no damn fan. No Jesus is the only way to heaven. Yeah, you sure right about that. And, 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 and this boy Marcus Freeman about to make me go there. <laughs> hey, hey. So I keep having to watch these lame performances. This is the whole thing about Marcus Freeman. Now, Notre Dame has always had the same interest, uh, difficulties to, to get in that college. And Notre Dame used to live in the top ten. So, so, so that ain't no excuse. We ain't there now. We're that number is, five in the nation. Because of everybody else but our quarterback. Oh, yeah, you got to. And then, you know, this is what Marcus Freeman got to realize. Man, he, this Notre Dame, he ain't got long to figure this out. Absolutely not. If you if you, if you you think I'm lying, go go call Ty Go Williams. ask Ty Willingham, yeah, bro. Yeah. You ain't going to have long. This, this, this Notre Dame, and this is one thing about Notre Dame, they don't take excuses. Either you win or you don't. Why it happened, we don't get Sorry it. about your luck, dog. I don't care, bro. So what if the team looks great? You keep being lazy at this quarterback going and getting these bums from these bottom-tier schools in the ACC. They're barely a power four conference, bro. Stop, dog. Stop, dog. You got my blood pressure hot. I need to move on, dog. I need to move on because y'all getting me hot right now, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I need yeah. to move on, bro. Yeah, because he, he wind up out there Notre Dame. But yeah, bro. Day. Like that, That's got me sick to my stomach, man. You got the national champion. We got 12 teams to get in the national tournament this year. And we might miss out because of a loss to Northern Illinois. But if they don't get another loss, they, they have a good chance. Uh, I doubt that's going to happen. We got Louisville who blew the hell out of us last year. Exactly. Exactly. But I'm just saying. We still got Florida State on the menu. We still got USC on the menu. I, I, yeah, I, I, just, I say if, if they go. <laughs> Bro, you better run the table, dog. And that's looking bleak. And this is two years that we lost to Marshall last year, bro. Like, come on, dog. Get out the ACC. Quit being lazy, bro. Yeah. Quit being lazy. Go find you a good quarterback coach. Call Brady Quinn, bro. Call Brady Quinn. He might not come because he's on TV. But call somebody to come in and coach up our quarterbacks and teach these guys. But this guy you got right now, bro, he's trash, bro. Yeah. And I'm mad at you right now for being lazy and going to the ACC and thinking you got a stud when that boy ain't nothing but a dud, bro. Yeah. Chill going, out. In the, going in the portal. Chill like you say, out, come down to Texas. We got, hey, they got them seven over seven camps all summer long. And you can come down here and find your quarterback. Got me hot right now. Got me hot. So moving on, we'll move on to Colorado, man. I'm tired, uh -huh. like, like people, like back off of Deion Sanders, please. Back off. That's all I'm saying. You, know, you might disagree, but we're talking about a team that won one game before he got there. One. But the expectations are set so high. And I don't know who set them that high. Whose fault is that? Because, uh, Whose fault is that? That's unrealistic expectations. Oh, yeah, because I said before the year started, if they win five games, they'll have a good year. Six games to a bowl game. You think yeah. you said you think they'll get to a bowl game? Yeah, six. I mean, but but to, but to think that Colorado is going to be eight and two or nine and one or, or eight, they not, I, it takes a while to build a program, man. And, uh, you know, just you know, you know, Dion is high profile, and he's uh, kind of like Jerry. He he gonna keep his team relevant even when they play may not call for the attention that they get it. But just because he has them relevant, don't set the expectations high. He just got them relevant. 
It is what it is, man, you know. What trip to go say? Trip, trip to go say, uh, Dion ain't recruiting in the right way, and I think the scouts are garbage, man. So, yeah, so it's like, they, they got really good, uh, they got really good recruiters. They got some of the top recruiters from some of the top recruiting platforms. Uh, I, I, I think, uh, you know, it's proven, like, you know, if you can get freshmen in and grow them and teach them as yeah, young bucks, like yeah. they're doing Jordan Seaton, but it's hard to bring all these transport portal guys in and jail yeah, quickly. Quickly, yeah, and then you this know, is a, and we're, we're watching this on the fly. And I'm a, like, it's never well, I'm happened. I'm kind of like, uh, trip to go, Dion. You know, I love Dion, but his recruiting style, I'm gonna say it like this, don't translate well in certain living rooms. Yeah. yeah I'm just be honest. And, and living rooms, are, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be honest. And the living rooms he need the most, I think that that's where his translation skills, and that's in your pitch. Yeah. And your, your, your lineman. Yeah. Your, yeah. And, the, and your recruiting style may not. Translate. If, if you get what I'm saying, Jay. Yeah. In them living rooms. Cause these are the big boys. Yeah, no you doubt. You know, and uh, oh, so you, so you, so you're saying that uh, it's a little bit too much. So, you know, Dion is Dion is a love or hate guy. Yeah, no. There ain't no middle with with Dion. It, it needs to be a little more Nick Saban when it comes to that old line. He needs to be a little bit more middle ground and uh, <laughs> kid friendly. I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, cause whatever I think about Dion as a coach or a recruiter, his fathering style override all of that in my personal opinion. <laughs> the, the the children of a juke junk club, women need a different approach. <laughs> That's funny, bro. That's funny. The juke joint? Yeah, I ain't gonna, yeah, he say the, the children of the juke, juke, juke junk women <laughs> need a different approach. But oh, no, yeah, man, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Definitely, uh, I, I ride with you. I ride with yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely, you know Trip. See, I don't, Trip, this is what I, this is what I want you to understand. I ride Trip. with you, Dion. Trip. I love what you got going. Trip. And Colorado's in a much better place than what it was. It ain't were. many people. Period. Trip. Me and you know what a juke joint is. Yeah, I know you, what that is too, baby. You from Lover, but a lot of these people hey, on that red door. That hey, red door. Hey, hey, I've been in some juke joints in Lubbock and Dallas. I've been in some in East St. Louis. Hey, I've been. In, <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying since since yeah. since Trip is from Lubbock. Lubbock yeah, I'm just, I've been in. Hey, I'm gonna tell you like this, Trip. I've been in juke joints from coast to coast. Yeah, <laughs> hey, preferably. And Those guess, guess what? When I go to certain back, especially when Uncle Younger. He gonna look for the juke joint, cause that's where the party at. Yeah, that's where it's at. Low key, ain't nobody coming to check out a juke joint, man. Ain't nobody coming. Hey, the, the, the Miami cops ain't coming to the juke joint. No, bro. they too scared to roll up in there. No, <laughs> they too scared to roll. They ain't got balls big enough to roll up in there. Absolutely, unless they got guns drawn or some bull con. But uh, but yeah, man. So moving on, we got the games of the week this week, man. So of course, it got biases to the teams that I got affiliations with. I love Notre Dame. Got a homie that's uh chief of staff at Colorado. Got a homie that's the head coach of Florida State. So, those are the games of the week. You can get used to it. That's what it's going to be. I don't care no, if Georgia playing, got dog on Alabama. They ain't going to be on this list. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't care if Florida playing Miami. They ain't going to be on this list. They're going to be on none list. <laughs> <laughs> but Notre Dame versus Purdue, man, I don't know. If we come out and run the ball, I think we'll dominate that game. If we come out passing, we'll lose. Simple as that. Yeah. Uh, Colorado versus Colorado State, man, I, I expect Colorado to win. They're a better team than they were last year, uh, than, and they beat Colorado last year, but they also beat Nebraska last year. So, Colorado State is a better team than they were last year. Also. Well, I don't know. Colorado State lost their first game of the season pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. But, yeah, but well, I'm gonna, I mean, but. I'm going to take Colorado, me personally. Yeah, I'm taking yeah, Colorado but, on that one as well. Yeah. Uh, in Colorado State, I mean, I don't know how good that home environment is. Nobody watches both that. Of, both of them in Colorado. I mean, if you, you hey, know, right if you go the, up the street. Hey, right down the I street mean, from each other. Colorado's not like Texas where you be 700 miles away. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Te Texas, you can be 900 miles. Yeah, they max 180. Max yeah. 200 miles away from each yeah, other. Yeah, so they, so they just right down the street. They don't yeah. matter for Colorado, Colorado Street. That yeah. shouldn't be no home field advantage. And then lastly, we got Memphis versus Florida State. If DJ Ugly is quarterback, Florida State will lose that game. I'm going to say it like this. way Florida State been looking, man. I'm picking Memphis. That's what I'm, I'm saying. <laughs> I'm if DJ not. Ugly comes out there at quarterback, Florida State has a good chance of losing that game. DJ Ugly, I don't even try to say his last name. Ugalele, ukulele, I don't even try. So we just DJ Ugly because that represents his game. If DJ Ugly comes out at quarterback, 
Florida State will lose. <laughs> yeah. Jay is on the Florida State boys. He got he down with the coach. Hey, Mike Lovell was my wide receiver and free safety in high school. Okay, Mike used to pick me up. Had a red Camaro back in the I'm gap. I'm like this here. Take me to school. I beat him in NCAA football. He get Florida State. I get Notre Dame. He beat me sometimes, but I beat him most of the time. I'm gonna you know say that? this. <laughs> but I'm gonna say this. He, he can't Mike, control Mike DJ. Mike Lovell used to pick you up in the fight. Yeah. He got to pick up different quarterbacks. Hey, man. They're picking right now ain't too good. DJ that, Ugly ain't what that on, is, And man. that's on him. Yeah. He picked DJ Ugly. Well, I mean, DJ Ugly, he's he like that prom girl. He like that prom. 6'5", 240, can run it, can throw it. But she ain't going to kiss you at but, the end of the night. But he didn't kiss the last two coaches. So what makes you think kiss you? <laughs> hey. He he, this, is, this is third school. He didn't kiss them. Man, hey, I'm going to tell you like bro. this here, Jay. If you take a girl to the prom, then to take a girl out on a date, and she didn't kiss you, then she say, okay, I ain't getting no kid. Then she said, man, she want to fly with me. I'm like, I ain't taking her out. She ain't going to kiss nobody. <laughs> she ain't kissing nobody. <laughs> I don't want her. I don't want to take her out. I like, leave She proved <laughs> You know, like. She pretty, but yeah. DJ Ugly is proved when it comes to winning. You know? Uh, and he he's just been, he's holding the team back. Uh -huh. Yeah, trip to go it. say facts. He was laughing. And, and, and I don't <laughs> want to see my boy lose a job behind DJ Ugly. The worst prom date in America. Absolutely. Right? It's homecoming. DJ Ugly's a homecoming queen that don't take the field. He the homecoming king that broke his ankle walking onto the field. Like he can't get he can't even he can't even he, take the he can't get his crown. It. <laughs> can't get his crown. You know what I'm saying? He's a homecoming king with no rhythm. He can't dance when it comes to the homecoming dance. Like Absolutely. DJ Ugly, you've been playing real bad holding everybody back, bro. I need you to take a seat, right? Is all I'm saying. Like I don't, I don't appreciate what you're doing to my homie. I feel like it's sabotage. I feel like you're Jason Garretting Wade Phillips right now. Is all I'm saying. But uh, we're gonna keep this thing moving, man. So, little WNBA talk, Caitlin Clark. Before we get to Caitlin Clark, man, Angel, Angel Reese is out for the season with a wrist injury. Maybe that's why she's shooting so bad and can't in his rebound getting so many rebounds because her wrist been hurt. No. Oh, it's a good excuse. She ain't no, she ain't never been no shooter. Her game is inside. Yeah, she, she ain't never been no shooter. But layups, that ain't really. But she been missing layups. That's how she got so many boards. <laughs> Stop that shit. Man. <laughs> it's the Stop. truth. Stop. Okay. Okay. Go, uh, go okay. look at the film. Okay. So how many boards she get off on one shot? A lot. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, somebody else should though. be trying to get the damn rebound. I love Angel Reese. Yeah, I'm I mean, I'm Angel man. That's all I'm saying. Some hey, of that, she, some of she that. got that ring, like she said to Kaylin in college. She got it. Yeah. Kaylin didn't. Yeah, but so when it comes that, to this, sometimes okay. all that's just too much for me. I mean, because they highlight. You know, they used to say the same thing about Russell Russell Westbrook. Oh, he get a lot of rebounds. Let everybody else get their own rebound. Yeah. If, 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 if if your team, everybody that shot a shot got their own rebound, you'd have 20, 30, 40 offensive rebounds. But she's a grinder, game. though. She different. Okay, okay, okay but don't, don't make it sound like it's just coming to her. Yeah, she no, going and getting them. Yeah, she going and getting them. Don't everybody let me misrepresent anything. Just, that, that, because when the ball I just is come off the backboard, you got 10 players trying to get it. And if I get all of them because they're my shot, don't try to diminish my game. Rebounding is like defense in baseball. It's an effort thing. How bad yeah. do you want it? Yeah, you know absolutely. Do you want it? More, so if I want, you want my, it more than the next so man. So if I want my own shot worse than you want it, absolutely. Don't try to diminish me because I'm getting my own rebound. Absolutely. And because a, a rebound is a rebound. Yeah. It doesn't matter who it come from. Yeah. That's the way I look at the game. I agree with you 100. percent because if I could get all but, my own rebound, I tell Angel, shoot 40 times. But if, if, if the general public don't really match my eye. Yeah. General public's like, Angel Reed's getting her own boards. Uh, what's the general public? Which I'm is gonna creating say like double this, doubles. The general public don't know general shit. I'm going to say it like that. Or because specific, the general public, or, or how many of them... The general public, how many of them have played sports on a high level Thank and you. know how hard it is to get 10 rebounds? You hey. go you go play in the fireman's league 
and see how hard it is to get 11 rebounds. Yeah, it's go eight. play in the police league and see how hard. Go play in the go play in the recreation league and in the recreation center and see how hard it is to get 11 rebounds. See if you rebounds. can get 10 and 11. Not just I bet you boys, can't. But I 10 bet you can't. Well. Yeah, I bet you can't. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I ain't talking about go play in the WNBA. Yeah. Go play in your regular men's league. It's some men's leagues in your neighborhood. <laughs> go play in them and then you hey. do the same thing. Hey, Trip to Go said Carmelo Anthony needs to do the same thing. Hey, Carmelo. Hey. Carmelo's a dog. I got a man. Carmelo jersey behind my desk at the crib, bro. Like, I, I mess with Carmelo Strong. I almost said that. Oh, I do too. But Carl, Paul's like, I mess with Carmelo Strong. He's, he's, hey, I'm going to tell you like this. Baller, you, bro. You're absolutely right. Carmelo did the same thing. That's why he averaged. 27 points a points career. Yeah. Because he was getting his own rebound while everybody else stopped there looking. Dirty work. You yeah, dirty work. Dirty work. He grind me get nasty with it, yeah, bro. Yeah, because, because yeah, if, it, cause if it was that easy. Big facts right yeah. there. But uh, on the flip side of that. Yeah, on the flip side of that. Caitlin Clark got a second triple-double. Yeah, second triple-double. And I, again, I don't think the rookie of the year conversation is a conversation. No, it's not anymore. even. It ain't no conversation. Now, it what the to what the big conversation is is Asia Wilson and Caitlin Clark for MVP. Asia Wilson's there out there no balling. Conversation. There ain't no conversation either. I don't know because okay. Asia Wilson's out there balling and doing what she's done. She has won two championships in a row. Correct. Right. Caitlin Clark just took a team. That won 13 games last year and fewer than that the year before. And they are now sitting at number six, working on number five seed in the playoffs. Already clinched the spot. What is Isaiah Wilson team sitting there? I like three or four. Okay. They're not one. So how? So how, many Liberty, points, how many points is Isaiah Wilson averaging? I know Isaiah went 41 and 17 a yeah. couple weeks ago. That ain't that's, no that's conversation different. either. People can make it up how they want to. Kayla Clark is rookie of the year. RJ Wilson is MVP, and that's the end of that conversation for real. MVP is an impact. Uh, MVP is an impact conversation, though. Like when you got a first, second, third place winner, yeah, she said she probably gonna finish third or fourth, but she's really not a threat for the, in my opinion. I mean, bringing bringing the fever back from where they were to where they are, but I she think didn't it's do that. But she didn't do that all by herself. Yeah, you're right. You're I right. mean, because I still they I were, think it's significant though. Because they were they were zero and eight until uh, Boston came back, and then that's when they started when they got them both together. Last year, Boston won a lot by herself, and at the start of the year, Kayla Clark won a lot by herself. But when they came together, they became a lot together, kind of like Scotty and Michael. Yeah, now Asia Asia is what that is. And yeah, by no, herself. There's by no, her, all by herself. No denying that. No, if you yeah. if you if you try to deny that or, or argue that, then you obviously have not been watching AJ Wilson play ball. But yeah, we'll keep this thing moving, man. So uh, moving on, uh, we also had a, a, a little bit of MLB news down here in Texas, right? So uh, this week, uh, or last week, Elvis Andrews uh, signed back with the Texas Rangers to retire as a Ranger. A lot of the world don't really care about Elvis Andrews, but we do here. We love Elvis Andrews. He was that dude. He was our shortstop. When Ron Washington came and took the team over, Got us to the, uh, you know, the World Series. Made an error at a key moment. But, uh, you know, we got rid of him for that. But, you know, uh, I, I think he had a solid career. Went on to the play with the Oakland A's. And uh, shout out Elvis Andrews. Appreciate all you did here. And he's gone. Other news in the MLB. Uh, Kumar Rocker, former Vanderbilt University pitcher. Stud pitcher, by the way. Uh, he was called up by the Texas Rangers to come in. You know, finish out September call up, finish out the season, see if we can get on a nice 17 game winning streak to make the playoffs. Doubtful, but uh, excited to see Kumar Rocker in the building, uh, doing what he's doing, man. He uh, he was supposed to be a top pick with the Mets. They had some disagreements about the contract, and uh, he ended up, you know, not signing with the Mets. Came on to the Rangers, huge pickup for us. He's had some exceptional numbers in the minor leagues. I'm talking about uh, like 97 strikeouts and like 65 innings or something like that. Those numbers might be slightly off off top of my dome, but the guy's a stud. Rangers could absolutely use that guy. And, uh, you know, I think it's I think it's good for him. Uh, on to uh, boxing now. Got a got a pretty big matchup this weekend, man. A lot of a lot of hype around this game, this matchup between uh Canelo Alvarez and Belanga out of New York, man, by way of Puerto Rico. Canelo is 
Kind of remind me of Tank. A That's about I said. Bit. A lot like Tank. He's he's patient. He take a lot of blows, but when he get to you, when, when, when that hunt, like, when when yeah. that boy start hunting, yeah, yeah, uh, hey, good when luck. That pre- when that predator catch up with the prey, good luck to it's you. It's over. Good luck this to you, dog. I, I hate it for you. Yeah, bro, because Canelo, you know, he got them hammers, and uh, he drops them bombs down, and it's a, it's it's Hiroshima, dog. Like yeah, it ain't about it. Ain't been with one person. Hey. That he didn't drop them hammers on. And that's Floyd. And, and that was Mayweather. That's, that's, that's money. Money Mayweather. Yeah. But you know, out of the two Mayweathers, money, I like Pretty Boy Floyd better than I do money. Oh, I do too. Pretty, Cause, Pretty cause Boy Floyd used to throw them hands. was the one told him to do quick, quick cry and fight. Yeah. And then knock him out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he used to throw them hands. I agree but with you But now, that. Money Mayweather, he gave himself the right name. He was telling it for the money. He is in front of money. It. And that, and, Sh- and Shakur, that Shakur is Shakur ain't Money oh. Mayweather, but he act like he is. Oh, yeah. He trying to be. He trying to be. And, and he, boy, trying to, he trying to pay his record but boy, and get all the money he can. We ain't paying to see that. No, we ain't paying. Mayweather got away with it. We don't want to see. I, I, we ain't I, going down that lane I no more. I can go to the parking lot, boys run. You know? Be be runners. Yeah, I said I go to the park and see if dudes running, but they ain't no allow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Man, the, hey, the technology is messing up on us. I think we had a long show. It's been a long one, man. But, um, but yeah, man. So, uh, also, this weekend, we got a nice little UFC fight. Uh, Mr. Sean O'Malley is going in. And what's even most important about that is it, it's the first UFC fight at the Sphere in Las Vegas. Ooh. So, it's going to be an immersive experience. I'm very, A lot of people are curious to see how this is going to go on. And these two, let's, let's, let's just get it right. Let's get it, you know, let's be keep it 100. Uh, UFC and boxing are competing this weekend. See who who can get the views, right? And and uh, Canelo, I think he did it on the wrong weekend because I it's when it comes to technology and just things that are new. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, a lot of people want to tune in to see what happens at the Sphere. Sphere. Yeah. Las Vegas and UFC go together to me. Oh, I'm yeah. surprised. This this the first UFC fight in Las Vegas. Uh, I don't believe so. Oh, okay. I don't believe okay, so. Okay. But this is the first one at the Sphere. Oh, right, first, that's, first that's one structure. So that's gonna be a dope, oh, okay. a dope oh. situation, man. Yeah, it's gonna be easy work for Sean. I think this is just more so about the venue more than anything. This is about the venue that they're fighting at, and uh, just a lot of people want to see what takes place at the Sphere and how they go about uh, leveraging this immersive experience. Like that's that's my whole world right there, man. Like I live, in the, you know, in Group International, man. If y'all get a chance, go check it out, man. Uh, the Noonish is also broadcast on that website, uh, ingroupinternational.com. Uh, but that's my website, man. That's what I do on my day job. But anyway, I don't know what happened right here to my graphics. Uh, yeah, man, like this is goofy. Anyway, I'm like, I can't even. We ought to be down to one more subject, right? Can't do normal stuff, man. Yeah. Can't do normal stuff, well, man. You know, when you when you when you when you messing with technology, people think that you're in control, but technology is, is always. In control. It's always because it do what it want to. And ain't nothing you can do about it. When it want to, and you just like victim to it. Because right? if anybody out there, if your if your internet go down, ain't nothing you can do about it. Not a way for it to come back up. Not a. <laughs> if your bandwidth shrink because there's so many people in your neighborhood or whatever on the internet, ain't nothing you can do about it. It is what it is. It bro. is what it is. You gotta ride with it. It is what it is, man. So, anyways, we're we're down to this last portion, man. So, uh, we've got um, next up, we got IMO. Uh, in my opinion, this is my favorite part of the show. Oh, so, man. what you got for the people today, Yunk, in, in, in your opinion? <laughs> ah, this is going to sound like an oxymoron. Yeah. But in my opinion, yeah. people get their opinions confused. <laughs> <laughs> in my opinion, what they get it confused with, huh? People get their <laughs> opinions confused. Confused with the facts. Yeah, absolutely. Because my this is what if you notice on the show, me and AJA try to emphasize this. My opinion. Yes. And your yeah. opinion. See, this is this is the thing. Two and two is four. That's a fact. Yeah. But if but if your opinion that <laughs> that five and one is four, that's a that's your opinion. It ain't no fact. Yeah. If you think. That if you think that Justin Jefferson is better than C.D. Lamb, that's your opinion. It ain't no facts to that. Fact. If you think that Michael Jordan is a GOAT and I don't, that's only an opinion. Yep. So this is what I want people to do. Back off of your opinion 
and separate your opinion from the facts. From the because facts. on this show, we try to make sure that we let you know that this is my opinion. Yes. Yes. Now, facts. the facts is that Patrick Mahomes won three Super Bowls, and we got a lot of other quarterbacks having yeah, won in it. Yeah, so, absolutely. and over the last few years, Patrick Mahomes and uh, – Plus the guy for the Rams uh, came from Detroit. Matt Stafford. Yeah, Matthew Stafford, and I don't know who else. Those are the only two I can think of. But that's a fact. But to say that Patrick Mahomes is a is the best or the greatest quarterback ever, that's an opinion. Yes. And we have to learn to respect other people's opinion just because they don't agree with you. That don't mean mean their opinion is wrong. Yep. It is only their opinion. And that's my opinion on opinions. <laughs> hey, hey, in fact, you got, got to know the difference. <laughs> you got, you got to know, to know the difference to have a valid opinion. But I guess opinions don't got to be valid. No, opinion can, can just be can on be the top of your head. BS. That's your opinion. They can be ludicrous, but that's your opinion. Yeah, yeah. They can be ludicrous to me, but that don't mean it's ludicrous to you because that's your opinion. Yeah. In my opinion... Hokas are the ugliest shoes I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and boy, talking about trending, Hokas trending, boy, upwards. Oh, yeah. But you ain't never going to see J.A. in no Hokas. Just because that ain't how I get down with you the You know who set the Hokas on fire? Who? The medical community. Nurses and doctors. I believe it because they when, look like nursing shoes. Yeah, because when you go to the hospital, I mean, this is... This is two or three years ago. Every nurse, every doctor, every radiology worker, they put they had hokas on, man. Cause they gotta be on their feet all day. In the nineties, <laughs> hokas wouldn't have made it though. <laughs> no, no, no. We was by style more than trending. Wasn't no internet out there to trend on. Right? So design had to be what that was. Two thousands, early two thousands. Hokas, bruh. If I see you in Hocus, dog, like, and you ain't a nurse or a doctor, I kind of lose a little respect for you immediately. Just because I'm like, bro, you following yeah. the crowd. They might be comfortable. No, you know. Hey, Unk got me right on the sketches. I didn't realize they was comfortable walking shoes. But the Hocus, bro, it's like platform sneakers, dog. But when you go to the walking track, everybody got them on. I'm going to tell you the two number one shoes you'll see. Sketches and Hocus? Sketches and Hocus. I I'm believe. telling you, because I walk every day. I walk in different places. You know, I, me, and, me and my friends, we got a certain place we walk every morning, but sometimes we'll say, okay, in the evening, we'll say, let's go to the park and just walk an extra couple of miles. Yeah. Let's go walk through the neighborhood. Look at people's feet that's walking. Yeah. I mean, 16, uh, I mean, you know, 10, 12, 14, 16,000 steps. They got no hokers and sketches, man. That's because that's cause the soul is this thick. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You can wear them for five years. And they got memory foam. Dog, got... Like, I ain't ever been the trendy. I ain't ever been the following type. You know what I'm saying? I always walk to the beat of my own drum. Feel me? I got Jay's on right now with the golf pants and the golf shirt. Like, I, I do my thing. And this is IMO. This is in my yeah, opinion. yeah. yeah. But Hocus I'm gonna tell you this here, Jay. Are the ugliest shoes <laughs> if you had I've to, ever seen in my life. If you life. start walking, Nikes ain't gonna get it done. <laughs> no, yeah. not no Jays. Oh sure. no, 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 I mean, absolutely. absolutely right. Maybe some Nike. But I'm saying, if you, if you start walking 10, 12, 14, 16, 20,000 steps a day, yeah. you might change your opinion. No, I, feel, I, I mean, I'm not, hey, but you, but you're you talking in, about looks, not functionality. If you're in the medical field. <laughs> And I'm not rebutting my his, hats off. My hats know. off to you. And I'm not rebutting your opinion. Yeah. But I'm just saying that these are the positives of that shoe. That when you start, cause like I told you about Skechers, I went to the store looking for everything but Skechers. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. You know, so, but, but them yeah. Hokas. Hey, and then this is the, and this is and this. Y'all can the, take them back to Mars, dog. Like as far as I'm concerned, and I can tell you this here, look like the difference between Hokas and Skechers. About eighty to a hundred dollars. Absolutely. So I'm rolling on this. <laughs> Absolutely. So that just, uh, if you're rocking hokers okay. and you ain't in the medical field, dog, come on, bro, you a follower. And that's in my opinion. <laughs> but that's how I'm in that whole situation right there. 
Uh, but yeah, man, nah, it's been a great show today, huh? Man, we you love everybody, time, man. man. We still got people on there. And man, if you see something, say something. Yeah. Man, we got Trip to Ghost. We got Goo Punch. Yeah. We got a couple of other people. Yeah. But they in there talking that ish. If they say something, man, we're going to say something back. But but even if you just want to listen, hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that notification bell. We got the memberships out there. Shout out Trip to Ghost, man. man. Like, membership, that's true love right there, man. We want to keep bringing good, good content, bro. So, you know, you got to. Support the cause, man. You know, come join the fun. Come join the watch parties. Don't be bashful, man. We just talking our ish every day around noon. Every Wednesday around noon. And our watch parties on the weekend is going down. We're going to have a watch party this weekend. It's going to be fight. a Canelo fight going down. Oh, got the yeah. UFC at the Spear. We having a watch party, oh, man. Yeah. You know, got football games going. It's football season. Thank you, J. Thank you all. I, and I, I love football. Yeah. Because football... You know, people want to look at Uncle Party when they say this, but football is control violence. Hey, man. And it's the whole thing. I, I like control violence. I just don't like uncontrolled violence. America loves violence. Yeah. We found it on. I almost made a comment, but we, America loves violence. We found it on Clearly. violence. Yeah. That's you know it. what the Boston Tea Party was, right? Violence. They called it a party, but they set the boat on fire, throwed all the people over in the tea, and then set the boat on fire. Violence. Sound, sound rough to me. The red coats are coming. Violence. Hey, America right. loves violence, man. We're going to be having a violent weekend. Well, we're not. We're going to have a great weekend. Oh, no. We're going to be Sipping chill. on this drink. Taking it easy. Hey. Watching them boys get down to get down. So come join us, man. Hit that subscribe button, notification bell, like, share, man, with somebody. We're growing. Man, let's go organically. Let's Appreciate y'all watching us this week, man. Been a great show. Next Wednesday, sometime around noon, we'll be back. Trip to Ghost, Go Punch. We coming for you in that fantasy league, man. We coming. <laughs> hey, we'll see y'all, man. Appreciate it. We are. Peace. Welcome to a realm where the pulse of sports thrills and the spark of technology sizzles. Join Ronald Unk Bolware and your charismatic host, Jay, a a.k.a. Jonathan Anderson. Together, they unpack the latest in sports and technology. This is Noonish Sports and Tech.